Hello, hello everybody, hello Brad, hello Denny, and hello Boomzer, how you guys doing today? I agree Denny, that was some very Sims 2 music, I was just kind of vibing to it, so that's why I was waiting for that song to end, to come on, but I liked that. This is one of my favorite stations on Pretzel Rocks, which is Chiptune, and I freaking love it! I'm happy it came on right now in my rotation because I use the free program so I'm happy it's there but I hope everyone's having a good day or had a good day depending on where you're at and also had a good last couple days my Tuesday was fine I um my Tuesday I just kind of worked a little bit I had to do some outside work for a little bit it was only like an hour's worth because it was too hot and too uh dry for me and then today, i not really having a good day today, so <laughs> we're just kind of going to go with the flow and see how long I can last. Thank you so much for the shout outs, but I hope everyone else is doing well. Um, so today we're going to be checking out the PTV. Honestly, I just don't feel like even being uh, dead by daylight, but I want to see this. I don't want to do it on Friday, and I don't want to do it next week, because next week I feel like it's getting too late. For me to be checking out the PTV and everything, because I don't know how many people will be on the PTV next week. Um, but we're going to check out the new Prestige system, kind of play with, around, with a few perks and here and there. If I still feel like really even playing, I might switch to the live servers, but I just, I don't really, I just don't feel like playing Dead by Daylight, and I don't feel like really playing on the PTV nor the live server. So I'm just going to kind of go with the flow and see how, how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's just my day. It's just not been really good. So this might be a very short and sweet stream. I'm just hoping that being on will cheer me up because I'm not, I'm not about it today. Let me do this. Thank you, Denny. I appreciate you. Um, but yeah, that's what we're, we're going to do today. So. All we're going to check out on the PTV right now is we're going to go see what the new prestige system looks like and all that, and then play around with a couple perks. I don't think I'll check out all, what, 39 perks when it comes to, um, like, killer and survivor and everything. Um, I'll probably just stick to survivor, because I don't think I can handle killer today. But I don't know. PTVs are, are weird. PTVs are really weird, um, and I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that, like, sometimes PTVs are all about having fun, because literally nothing matters. Nothing at all matters on the PTV, because it's just, it's like its own game. But at the same time, especially with this PTV in particular, a lot of people are probably going to play the exact same way, because why not? I mean, you're testing out all of these perks. And if you're kind of playing just for funsies, it's like, well, how do you know if that perk works for you now if you're just kind of goofing off? So, I, I don't know. It's like, I want to play, like, really kind of fun because it's the PPB? PTV, excuse me. And I want to, you know, have fun and not have to worry about, you know, my rank and all that stuff. But at the same time, I want to play, you know, my same kind of style because I got to check out some of these perks. I really got to check out some of these perks. Perch. <laughs> Perks, I was reading chat. Hello, Rich. How's it going? And Magic, how are you doing? <gasps> Thank you for the head pad. Oh, I need that so much. I'm just like, I'm having a day. I'm done. You know, I when you're having that. a day and a good I'm old head pad, oh, I am, it just it hits I'm the spot. <laughs> do done. what you got to do, it's yeah. And I almost thought about just canceling stream up. today because I'm just... And thank you so much for feeding chat. Sally as well. I almost missed that one. I almost thought about canceling stream today because I'm just like... No, not in the mood, ah! but I want to see this PTB. I want to see it. I want to check it out. And on Friday, I have something I want to do because we've missed Variety Friday for the last two weeks. And I'm kind of sad. Like, I literally am very sad. Like, I've missed those because um, I love doing Variety here and there. And then um, the DVD anniversary event was currently going on. So I didn't really want to miss any of that. So that is why we missed it the last couple days. Me, Maria, and Brad were gonna play earlier, but Maria was one of the people. Yeah, Maria was one of the people affected by the sync issue, issue, so she couldn't play and see all the things. That sucks. But and I, it, it happens, and it just sucks that it just happens. You know, glitches they come in games, and it's really sad that uh, that it happened in a PTV, especially because this is a really big PTV. There's so much gonna be changing. Um, it is all a test, and then to have people have that sync issue and not really get to 
exper experience it. I don't know. Did it get fixed though for her? Like, did everything go? Did everything go well? Like after it got synced? Because I know I saw on their Twitter that they said, "Oh, sorry, you know, we've taken the PTB down for a little bit," because that was early morning for me. And then I heard them say, "Okay, it's back into effect." with blood point bonuses and stuff, but I didn't know if, if it really was fixed. Because <laughs> I was playing, uh, or not playing, I was watching some Fog Whispers to see if they were having issues, and none of them had mentioned it, so um, I was just kind of like, I, I don't really know if it's still an issue or not. Maybe I got completely wrecked by Killer's Try Holy Survivor Perks. 17 months. Oh! Thank you so much for the reset! Holy cow, 17 months, I agree. Thank you so much for that. And I can't believe it's been 17 months. Diam. Uh, me and Brad got completely wrecked by killers trying survivor perks. Do we get nerfed? Wait, do we... Perks. So we could nearly get a good... So we couldn't get a nearly good feel on them. Gotcha! Gotcha, I think I read that right. <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm kind of afraid of too. I'm kind of afraid of that too. She never got synced, but she got the... 50 million BP and that was it? Well, that sucks. That sucks that it never actually fixed for her. And then she got free BP for absolutely no reason. I mean, what's the point of getting 50 freaking million BP but not really being able to... know what's going on on your own s server? Or not server, but your own profile. Because, yeah, she could spend those 50 million BP and put it into everyone who she wants, but... That's not going to show, like, when she finally gets her live server and everything for all those hours and points and everything she's put into. She's not going to know what it looks like. That's kind of sucks. Every time she tried to play, she got DC'd automatically, so she couldn't even play. Ugh. Damn, did she try, like, uninstalling the PTB and reinstalling it? I don't think that's going to help, but try anything, I guess. I don't think that would help, though, because it's a server issue, not really a, not really a game issue. It was so cool to see the 50 million. Oh my god. I know. Where did I see it? Was it in Magic's Discord? I think I saw it there. Yeah. Because I was like, saw like somebody say 50 million. I think it was like on Twitter. And I was like, no, they've got to have written that wrong. Because like, why would they award you 50 million BP? And then I think I hopped over to Discord and saw her post a picture of it. And I was like, oh, that wasn't a typo. That really was 50 million. <laughs> But still, what is that gonna even do for her? I mean, yeah, she could put hours and hours into points into players in a PTB that doesn't even matter just to see it. But if it's not even, the game's not even working for her, it's not even really worth it. Like that just, I really feel so bad for her because PTBs are fun. They're so much fun. I usually have a blast on them. I think the last one, the, um, was it the, the last chapter PTB, the the dredge one, I think was one I didn't really enjoy as much. Like I enjoyed playing on the new map. I enjoyed checking out Hattie and Dredge. But I felt like people are being so sweaty in the game still for being not a not anything that mattered. And that's what I feel like today's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be no different because and I, I don't think it should be. Because people are need, need to test out these perks. You need to see what's going to work for you now when they do go live. And honestly, some things will probably get changed. Um, Spine Chill has already said. They've already said Spine Chill will be changing once it goes live. But on the PTB, they didn't have time to make that change. So that's the only one that's already been guaranteed a, a change to the perk. Um, for accessibility issues. Or not issues, but accessibility It'll make it uh, a perk used for that instead of whatever they they have it as now. PTBs can be fun, yeah. They can be fun. I had an absolute blast on um, the Sadako one, which was my very first one. And then I had an absolute blast on the mid-chapter when they were reintroducing... Or not reintroducing, excuse me. Um, testing out Ghostface and Legion. Those were two really fun PTBs. Just for some reason, the last one, I just didn't have as much fun. It was still fun at times, but I was trying to, like, just, you know, enjoy myself. Nothing mattered. Having fun with Dredge and everything. And then I just kept getting a lot of people who were playing, like, very sweaty. Like, trying to rank up or something in the PTB and get all these BP. And I was like, it's just, it's unfun. Now, today, I'm expecting it to be like that because I don't see why not. 
I don't see why not. This is a very, 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 very big update to the game. 39 perks are being reworked and a lot of new things in the game itself. Not necessarily the prestiging and everything, but the game itself has got a really big rework. So, honestly, I think you kind of have to play like you normally would. Now, not sweaty or anything, because nothing matters, but, I mean, at the same time, a little sweaty, because you need to test to see how overpowered these perks can get, or combinations of the perks. Who knows? But we're going to play around probably a survivor, because I really, I feel like killer today, I will actually be a super sweaty killer, because my mood feels like I want to attack everybody. <laughs> but I, I would rather, like, I'm not... I, I don't play killer as much. I would rather see what everything is as survivor because I'm a survivor main at heart. I only play killer to kind of switch it up on stream and have fun. And I don't even know if I'll even have these perks, honestly, for the ones that were changed because I don't know how the procedure works and what my profile looks like. So that's what we're going to jump into and see kind of what it looks like for my profile and hopefully everything looks good. I didn't download the PTB till like noon my time hopefully maybe everything was fixed in the meantime so that the you know whatever issue was is not a thing anymore so yeah it would take her hours for the points in and not get to play because yeah spending the time on the tv is yeah exactly there, it, there's not even any point to that if her profile wasn't even fixed why even bother i mean she could get on maybe spend it to you know, check out what some perks look like if she wanted, but it doesn't show her what her profile will look like. And I know Maria has got a lot of hours in this game, a lot of blood points, and so on and so forth, you know. So, you know, what would be the point? Why not just go play the live server and then unfortunately have to wait for it to go live for her to actually really see what her profile looks like? We would hope they would play all over the Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's that is how I hope. I just hope it's not like turn? super sweaty. It's like, right you know, there. Is it to like spite me? Oh, oh, hello. No. Thank you so much for the shout out. No, please. Twenty six hours. Please, please be a good person. Hours. Please, please. You can't. No, like, please. You can't do anything to make that please, up. No. Like in a PTV. No, I totally. Damn it! You fricker, man. You fricker. There it is. This music is helping my mood. It's super upbeat. Oh my word. Here comes the darkness. I said you like- Oh, you sent me like a lengthy message on Twitter before stream that explains some things roughly. Oh, I'll have to go check it out real quick. Darkness is coming. I was on- No, I got off Twitter kind of yeah. early today. I was there for a bit. You're a piece of turd. It's right there! As if to spite me! Was that the no. same clip twice? I hate when the bot no. does that. Please, please be a good person. That's so unfortunate please. when you get a double shot please. on it. It's the same clip. Please, I know Blossom's no. got lots of clips. <laughs> please, no. No, I totally s Damn it. You fricker, man. You fricker. But thank you so much for all the shout outs. I hope everyone else is having a really good day. Damn that, that's so loud. Ugh. It does kind of sound like NES music. <laughs> it does. All right, let's hop over to game because I really don't have... Oh, I don't know if I put this in there and I don't even know if it still works. I think I forgot. I forgot. I think it still works. I'm not 100% positive, but there is a code out there. It's been posted in the discords. Um, Mine Blossoms Magics, if you're all in those. Cakewalk is a, if you're on the live servers, I don't know, can you put it in on the PTB servers? I've never actually tried, but anyways. Uh, you can put it on the live servers, it's 100,000 BP. I think it still works, if it doesn't, I apologize. It was there yesterday and I haven't checked anything today because just really haven't been in the mood, so I didn't even put it in there. But it's called Cakewalk, if you guys want 100,000 BP on the live server. How you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm having a day. Honestly, I'm having a day. I didn't even know if I was going to stream because I'm just like... You know, you ever have one of those days where you're just like... I think we talked about it recently. You're just like in a mood 
like not necessarily a bad mood not a good mood but just a mood where you feel like at any second you're just gonna kind of like blow <laughs> that's how i feel i feel like that right now and that's why i almost didn't stream but i was like okay maybe if i get on maybe if i can have some fun and get my mind off other things it'll all be good and i'm not even sure i really want to play on the pcb and all that but i want to check it out i definitely want to check out everything and see what it's all about and it might be a short stream if I'm not feeling any better. Um, or we might go maybe... I don't even think I'll switch to a different game. I think I'll, I would probably just end stream. Because I'm not sure how I feel about Dead by Daylight today. Not, nothing against like anything in particular. It's just, you know, one of those days you just don't feel like it. But yeah, there is a... For those on the live server, Cakewalk, I think still works for 100 BP. I'm going to put it in on the live server to p to, to see what it's like. All right, so I, yes, I switched over to the screen. I turned the volume on. My game is not on my screen, but I got it. But I hope you're doing well, Blossom. I saw your post on your Discord. I'm super happy for you. TikTok mood swings. Yes, I need to go look, I need to do that. I, I don't even know where it came from. Isn't that like the worst thing? I just like, woke up. You know how like, when you wake up in the morning and you choose violence? <laughs> That's my mood. I woke up and I chose violence this morning. But we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have to try and have fun. Also, ooh, okay, yes, and everybody, I knew this was a thing. If you guys uh, are on the PCB as well, I knew you were gonna get, I didn't know it was gonna be a million. Um, everybody gets, I think, a million BP to spend on their characters because why not? <laughs> why not? Um, so I'm not going to talk about or read or anything about everything that's going into effect today. If you guys want to check it out, it's um, Mid Chapter PTV. Uh, you can find it on their website. You can find it on their social medias and everything. But it's pretty much everything that has been talked about and all, um, you know, with the generator regression, new perks, progression system, all that good stuff. Oh, and matchmaking incentives. I'll have to see how that is. Yes, Carl, and every day. <laughs> I understand, I understand, like one of those days. I got the job, job, I got the job. I was trying to say job and guys at the same time and it was gonna come out really weird. I'm so happy for you. Uh, I mean, ew, jobs, just saying, but I'm so happy for you that you got it. I'm so happy that hopefully everything will start coming together for you, Blossom, and just everything starts looking up for you. I really do, and you know, you know my Discord is always open, my DMs, you can always reach out to me if you ever need anything, or if you have any, I know you've been having a lot of concerns about things lately, so you can always talk to me about it. I'm going to be super busy, I cry, I know, that's why I was like kind of sad, I'm like, no, but I know you needed it, so I'm not like sad about that, so I'm really happy that you got it, but I'm sad that you're going to be super busy now, I'm going to miss you, but I know... I know you'll always be there, and I know you're still around, so that is all okay. You needed it, and that is all that matters. You, I tell this to everybody, you matter. Whatever is going on in your off, Twitch, wine, wherever, life is way more important. You always need to take care of yourself, your family, whatever the case may be, your situation. You need to take care of that first and not worry about being in someone's chat or being on the Discord or being active absolutely anywhere you need to take care of yourself always so that is always number one priority but if 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 you feel like you need someone you can always reach out to a lot of us on this discord or wherever you want to find us most of us you can reach out to us and if you need to talk we're always here for you oh at a gas station nice not bad not bad All right, uh, so let's get into it. Let's go. Oh, let's read this. I ha I was watching a fog whisper earlier, and so I've seen the things here and there because I was really just making sure, like I was watching them to make sure everything was okay, like on the servers and stuff. So um, I've seen a little bit of this, but we're gonna read it. Dead by Daylight has a new way of unlocking perks between characters. Completing a character's 50th blood web level lets you prestige that character, giving you permanent benefits and resetting the character's blood web level to one so you can begin the cycle again. So it automatically does it? Well, we'll see. We'll see. We're not going to ask questions. We'll see. 
Uh, the first, second, and third time you prestige a character, the levels 1, 2, and 3 version of their perks are given to all other characters. Each prestige after that unlocks unique portraits, portraits, excuse me, cosmetics for the character. I can't speak, but that's okay. Nothing is lost when you prestige a character. That's what I'm still looking forward to. I get to keep all my goodies. Uh, that character retains all of their purchased perks, items, add-ons, and offerings. Prestige as often as you can. I don't know. I don't like how they're like... I don't like how they're like making it seem like prestiging is like the number one thing you need to do in this game. I don't know why that's bugging me, but it, it is what it is. Some people think prestiging is extremely important, which I, I agree, but I think after once you get everything unlocked, I don't see the point. What is the benefit of unlocking after, or prestiging after level whatever? What is it, 10, nine? Once you get the charms, like what is the bonus after that? We'll see, we'll see. Uh, if you have invested a significant amount of blood points in a character prior to this release, they may have received free prestige levels in honor of your effort. Well, I haven't. This might determine if we do on the live service though. Plus, all characters that were Prestige 3 before this update were awarded with a special highlight in the character menu. I think I know what this is. Uh, this can be disabled. Oh, this can be disabled in the settings? Oh, if I think it is what I think, if it is what I think it is, I'll probably will actually disable that. Okay, anyway. Um, I don't care about those. Let's go see our survivors. I'll still do everything to be here for you guys. And I appreciate that so much, Blossom. I really do. But just remember, don't overdo it. Take care of yourself, your family, and everything first. You will always still be important in everything, so don't worry like you're not going to get shoved to the side or anything for any reason. You will still be a mod here, even if you can't spend as much time here. It does not matter. I totally, I totally support you with everything you do. So San Francisco is raising the minimum wage woo, to $16.99 an hour. Holy snap. <laughs> Holy snap. I don't even know what minimum wage is like in general anymore. That's how out of it I have been. I'm talking for like the entire state of California. I was tickled. I P2'd clown and kept my cake. So uh, that's what I'm excited to see. I'm excited to see like when I actually P... P I'm going to probably P1 someone or P2 someone. That... When I go over to their stuff, it'll be like, yes, <laughs> I still have cake or flan or whatever it is, you know, I might have. Because I still have a couple of the anniversary cakes from the fifth anniversary on certain characters. And now that I, I know it'll never disappear, I'm like, you're staying there. I'm sad now, though, like in the past, I have, you know, spent the last one of something to get rid of it just because I know I'm not going to be able to keep it. And now I get to keep things, so... You're very, very welcome, Blossom, and it is very true. And again, you can always, always talk to me in, in DMs if you have any concerns or anything. You know I'm always here for you. You are absolutely amazing. Okay, so, because I've never prestiged anybody, I am absolutely at zero for everything. <laughs> so this, like I said, this might determine, though, between now that I see it on the PTB and when this is finally released, which is probably like two weeks when it's, it's usually about two weeks after it's been on the PTB um, or the PTB's release, I mean. So this might mean I might start, I mean, I'm a survivor bane. I only play killer to keep it interesting. Sometimes I don't even enjoy playing killer. Holy crap. When they did this, I was at bronze. That's a, this is a law. This is an old save file. But anyway, um, so in the future on Dead by Daylight, I might start sinking points into some of my favorite survivors to prestige them and get these benefits and stuff. Because as you can see, I've never ever prestige anyone but Michaela. She's at level two. Because I never felt the need to. I didn't really care if I had the bloody cosmetic. I would have rather, you know, get everybody up to unlock perks and stuff. But now that you can unlock them at your first level, second level, and third level, I might actually just, like, start putting points into people and prestiging them. Oh, wait, no, no, I can't. Never mind, I can't do that because I'll lose them before, I'll lose my items before that goes into effect. So I'm kind of just stuck. 
I'm kind of just stuck now on the live server. I just have to literally wait. Because I am not... I spent a lot of time getting each character... Um, it's not going to show here. We're going to be playing Michaela today, by the way. Probably be between Michaela and Hattie. Um, I spent a lot of blood points during the anniversary event getting each person every single anniversary item. And if I prestige them right now, I lose it. So I can't even do that. I was a P3 Leon on the live and in the P... Excuse me. I was P3 Leon on live and in the PTB I was a level 8. Nice! So yeah, I am only a level 2 on my only prestige character, which is fine. That is totally fine. And I, a little bit, like, I'm a little sad that, you know, like, all my characters are, like, nothing. Because I've never prestiged. But at the same time, it's okay. We'll work through it. It's going to be less of a grind and everything. So what does this look like? Complete 50 blood webs on your character to increase the prestige level. Gain cosmetics. Item. Yeah, okay. So her perks are technically unlocked. Level two. Okay, so her okay, her perks are technically unlocked. Level two. So let me go to Hattie. Yes! There's clairvoyance. Circle of healing. And what was her other one? I am just completely dumb. I can't even think of what her other one is. Clairvoyance, circle of healing. Oh, shadow step. Wait, shadow step was hers? Why am I being dumb? Why did I think that was somebody else's? Why was I being completely dumb and thinking that was somebody else's? I don't know. Because I am dumb. It's okay. <laughs> so, okay, that's really cool. That is really cool. Um, I don't, maybe I won't work on Michaela today. Maybe we'll work on like Hattie and see what it's like to prestige someone for the first time. I'm kind of curious to go to like the next blood web for Michaela and see what what happens though. And I got a million points, so we can definitely do that. Oh yeah, how do you access the shrine? <laughs> I'm being completely honest. Is it in the store? Yes. Okay. So how does this work now? So it's three thousand shards though. Because I, I, if I'm completely honest, I don't even know how the shrine works before. Because <laughs> I don't use it. I don't like it. I don't feel the need to use it because I wanted to do the whole grind and find it. And to me, to me, shards are very precious. Very precious because I use those on cosmetics. And only cosmetics. So I never really know how the shrine of secrets work. <laughs> See, I had two yellow perks and a purple one. Oh, okay, yellows are okay. So then, what? So what are purples? Greens are three k. Okay, because all of mine are green. Purples are fifteen k. Tier one perks are fifteen hundred. Tier two perks are three thousand. Tier three are fifteen. That's a lot, though. That's a lot of shards. For uh, T3, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Not 3,000, but... Rich, thank you so much for the raid! How... How's it... I was gonna say, how's it going? You are already here, but... Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome on in, raiders! Thank you, Brad, for shouting out my bot. <laughs> no, I really mean that, though. Thank you for shouting out my bot. My bot appreciates that. My bot gets no love. <laughs> Were you streaming, Rich? Was I completely oblivious? I was actually completely oblivious earlier. I apologize. I was not in it. But thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, Raiders. My name is Scarlet. I'm a Dead by Daylight streamer. I play Dead by Daylight on Mondays and Wednesdays and variety on Fridays. Anything from spooky to cutesy, depending on my mood. And then today we're playing Dead by Daylight, but we're on the PTV. So nothing matters. We're just checking out all the new stuff, which I'm super, super super excited about my fingers will go and do fast it's okay it's okay my bot deserves the love too my bot hey, totally deserves the love too that, everybody for letting us through and thank you so much for giving me rich a shout out 
So the Shrine of Sacreds contains four perks that can be unlocked with iridescent shards. Unlocking a perk here will give you relevant character access to it, even if the perk belongs to a different character. Uh, so yeah, that is... I still don't think I would use the Shrine. Oh, I wasn't streaming, I just wanted to host you. Gotcha! That's perfectly That's fine. That's totally fine. I appreciate the host. Magic's throwing a chocolate cake with a side of pretzel sprouts. Ooh. That's... Sticky? Kinda. Chocolate cake would be sticky. <laughs> So, I'm yeah, oh, sorry, I was thinking, um, as, I don't know if I really would use the shrine still, just because I like using my shards on, uh, outfits. I don't buy cells, I don't use cells other than what I earn in the rifts, um, and then I use those for the next rift and so on and so forth, so my, my shards are very precious to me, so I probably still wouldn't use the shrine of secrets. But I do, I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. That is actually really cool. Uh, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. How do I want to go about this? We're going to test out perks for sure. But the thing is, is because I don't have very many people like prestiged and stuff, there are perks that are missing that I can't test. I'm definitely gonna put dead hearted because I definitely want to see how that works. Because um, I was watching Where's a Fog Whisperer play working? with it, and oh boy, was it hilarious! <laughs> Wait, oh, boy, was it hilarious Wait, to watch who someone who's very good with dead hard struggle? Oh, good to you! Thank you, thank you, guys. Hey, thank you so much Wait, for the shout out because I was listening to the shout out. How are you doing? He's fucking beautiful. Sorry if my mic cut out there for a second. I accidentally <laughs> hit my cord and almost pulled it off of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very so much for the shout out. Here, let me heal you. Mm, chocolate cake. You know, I wouldn't mind chocolate cake being thrown. Just saying. Because how yummy is that? Not the Brussels sprouts, though. I'm going to put points into her blood web real quick to get to the next level, see what happens. Because technically, my blood web. Blood web level is 50 and I want to see what this looks like um I guess it wouldn't really matter which way we go so let's just put random points in here oh I didn't even see Hattie's perk down there doesn't matter but I was just saying this is just gonna take a while to get used to just how it, overall in general how everything works okay so prestige level three Increasing your prestige level shares this character's unique perk to other characters. Unlock new cosmetics and update. Okay, cool. Yes. Oh, I told down still. Oh, level three. So there. She. That's actually really cool because I've already got Michaela up to a level two. That I don't have to do much for her when we need to go onto the live servers to get her level threes. Okay, so then I can... I can still find level two perks though in the blood web. Is that what it's telling me? Oh, pepperoni pizza with a milkshake. Ooh, that is good. I like that. I like that. And a chocolate chip. I'm getting all the goodies thrown at me. Pizza, milkshake, chocolate chip cookies, and a pile of bacon. Yes. Yes, holy hell. So, I can find level two of these in the blood web. I don't have to prestige David to get it. Is that what this is telling me? I like. Now, I'm going to be anxious to see when a new character comes out. So, for instance, next chapter, Resident Evil. Uh, new character, new survivor, whoever. I don't know, think somebody. So when we buy that chapter and say I've prestiged everybody to level three, every single person by the time they come out, does that mean when we open their, like their character for the very first time, they're gonna be like pretty much perked out? Cause damn, well except for the universal perks, I guess, but that's gonna be so freaking awesome. Like for instance, Hattie, 
She's new. We open her up for the very first time after all this goes into effect. Like, we have never purchased her or anything. And I open it up and boom, she's got everything. If I've done a Prestige 3, I mean. I like. I like that. Except for there's a couple like universal perks. Obviously, you gotta find it in the blood web, I'm assuming still. Which is gonna be, I don't know, do I, I don't use that many universal perks. Actually, I probably do and I'm just not realizing it. If the other people you have isn't leveled, then you will find the perk at the level that person is. But my David isn't leveled at all. He isn't even a one. Like, technically, all his perks are technically still locked. Oh, okay, but, 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 but. Since I already technically had level one for Michaela because I'd already found it in the blood web prior to this, it's already unlocked for her, so that, that would make sense. But if I got, like, a new character, like, we're gonna use Hattie, for example. Like, if I've never bought Hattie, if she's brand new and I'm opening her up for the very first time with... Um, the brand new game, not on the PTV and such, I wouldn't be able to find that in the blood web because it's locked. But because Michaela already technically has it unlocked because I've put points into her, she can now find the next levels in the blood web, even though David doesn't have them unlocked. So that's, that's what I'm getting at. Yeah, I have no clue because this whole thing is confusing. It is very confusing because of of what we have, of a lot of us, good majority of us, who have put in hours and hours and blood points and blood points into killer, or not killer, well killers, yes, but survivors to get these perks at one point, now switching to a whole new system, it's kind of confusing. If I was opening this game for the very first time, and everybody, you know, you know, was level one and everything, this would be a lot less confusing because... I would have to just prestige everybody. It would be that simple. But because I have certain things unlocked, because I've put points and hours into this game, it's a little more confusing of how things are gonna work. So if you want said character's perk, you have to P3 to find their perk on another character's blood web. And yes, they will have all the teachable perks unlocked, so you won't find his perk on other blood webs. But I but right now, Dave this is what's confusing me. So right now, David is not unlocked. I have nothing unlocked for him technically. Right now, everything is considered locked. But when I go over here to Michaela, who is my only prestige character at the moment, because I prestiged her a long time ago, when I prestige her to level three, I can actually get David Perk, David Perks, David King's Perk, level two of we're gonna live forever. But I think that's because technically, because I had already found his perk in the blood web before this went into effect, that I can get his other perks and not have to deal with him for like, let's say, Michaela. But if I don't have like dead heart for her, I wouldn't be able to find it. Does that make sense? Like it's super confusing, but I know what I'm trying to say and it's just hard to get it out. And it's like I said, it's super confusing. Because it, it makes sense, like, if, if I'm, if I've got a brand new character like Hattie, and I've never found Dead Heart in the blood web prior to this, that I cannot find it at all until I unlock it. That makes sense. But if I've already unlocked it prior to this, by putting my points into her, that I already have it. It doesn't even matter. I feel like this is the chicken egg thing. Yeah, my egg is, my, my egg is so fried. My mind is so fried. Yeah. It's like that. The only thing confusing is just because we've put points into them. So it's like, uh, you know. So his teachables are locked. Yes. That would make sense. His teachables are locked for anybody. I'm going to put more points into Michaela. I'm, ju I'm just going to test this. I'm going to see. Hello, SK! They How are you doing? Like, um, you. There's a piece of hair flying by me. They tried to shoot you in Monitor. The Thank you so much for the shout-out for SK. I'm so happy you got your moist push back. <laughs> and yes, that was the sentence I just said. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm gonna put points in Demi Kayla real quick, just for a couple more seconds, just to see what this looks like. So, Michaela, she's at level three for me, but level one of the blood web. First blood web I get, I can unlock We're Gonna Live Forever 2. Cool. Level two, I can get Windows of Opportunity level two. We're not gonna put that many points into her. We're just gonna put a couple. Level three, I can unlock. So level three of Michaela's blood web, I can get Steve's kinship. Wait, does this count because he's, is that universal? Wait a minute, because the Stranger Things and all that crap. Yeah, never mind, never mind, because Stranger Things characters, it doesn't matter. St the two Stranger Things characters, Steve and Nancy, do not have that option of unlocking perks because technically their perks are now universal. Okay, so that makes sense. I was all confuzzled there for a second because I was like, wait a minute, how can I can find Steve's? How come I can find Steve's in the blood web? But technically it's not Steve's. It is, but it isn't. <laughs> So if you, if you have his perk at level one, you won't find his level two. That's not true though. I just found his level two with Michaela and I don't have David unlocked at all. I've set up all my characters so they all, wait. I've set up all my characters so that they just need one item in the blood web to level up. Same, I'm almost there as well. So it would be better to prestige the ones I never play first to have the perks unlocked at the one on the ones I do play. Wait, I need to read that again. So I've set up all my characters so that they just need one item in the blood web to level up. Okay, got that. So it would be better to prestige the ones I never play first to have the perks unlocked on the ones I do play. I think so, yeah. I think, I think if I'm reading that right. Sitting here playing Sims. Ooh, let's go. I love Sims. What you doing in the Sims? Building, playing, like playing Sims. Doing a household. But, 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 but. Sorry. If you have his perk at level one, you won't find his level two until David is P2. I'm, I'm still confused though. Because I just unlocked his P2 in Michaela's blood web, but David is not prestiged at all for me. That's what I was thinking, because maybe you unlocked his teachable prior. So that's what's been kind of confusing. So if all of us who have unlocked his teachable prior to this change, we can find his stuff in the blood web. But if we get a brand new character, like in the future, a Resident Evil character, survivor they won't have it that makes sense because technically they weren't here when all this went to effect and then we have to prestige david to get a new his perks unlocked for whoever the new character is that makes sense but if we've already unlocked his blood web or not his blood web his perk then I can find levels two and three in the blood web and not have to bother with him? I guess? God, it's so confusing. And I wonder if the shrine unlocks will be retroactive and be available for everyone. I think I read yes to that. But don't don't take me on that. I, I I'm literally very confused. I don't use the shrine anyway, so I don't know how it works completely. Anyways, I mean I, I get the premise of it, but I've never actually done anything with the shrine, so that one's a little confuzzling. Okay, so because all of your characters are technically level 40, you have all their perks unlocked in the blood blood web. Look at the top where it says shared perks. Yes. Where am I? Yes. All of Michaela perks are shared at tier three because she prestiged to three. You can get the other survivors in the blood web for now at all three tiers. Gotcha. Okay, that that makes sense. 
And like I said, it, it's confusing, but it's not confusing. And, it, it, and the only thing confusing is because we've already put progress on certain characters, so it's like... I can't find these in the blah 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 because technically they're unlocked, but... If anything new happens, that won't happen. New characters will have to wait to pr until you prestige the others. But we'll have all of Michaela's perks automatically because she's P3. Yes! Okay, so that is exactly what I was thinking. So since technically in the past I have unlocked David's um, perk, for instance, because I got um, We're Gonna Live Forever level 2 in my blood web. Because I am a player who's played a lot and already got that unlocked, I can find his stuff in the blood web. But in the future, a new survivor won't. I would have to prestige a character. And like you said, Michaela, I've got her level three, so perfect. Her perks will be on any new character I get and all characters that already exist. Okay, so that makes sense. I got it now. It's just, like I said, it's confusing because, especially for me, I only have very few perks unlocked here and there anyways. Every survivor has their perks unlocked, but have I found them in their blood web prior? Who knows? Who knows? And I don't know if I will be able to find it now that I've never found it. So that's why we're going to go work. We're going to go like put some points into Hattie and see what happens on her blood web because she doesn't have a lot of perks. Uh, made one male sim using story mode, dressed him randomly, put him on one of the 50 by 50 lots in Willow Creek, then deleted his money. He was allowed to build, he was allowed to build, do odd jobs, and accept a job offer, offer which put him in criminal career level 5. Oh, nice. I, li I like those sometimes, those career offers. As soon as he made 10k, he would build a 4x4 room to start his house, then a new 4x4 area for each person in his family. Oh! He now has three 4x4 rooms. A wife, a toddler daughter, and a garden. I like that. That's like, that's kind of like, oh, what's that challenge called? Where you, you do, you start with nothing. Ah, crap. I'm like totally drawing a blank. Rags to riches. That is it. It's like a rags to riches, but I like how like you can only build, how you're only building like onto his house with new people and not just randomly. That's actually really cool. Cause I, I played a rags to riches once, never finished it. No, I played a rags to riches uh, eco lifestyle when that pack came out. And my mine was I could build whenever, but um, I could only build with eco lifestyle items that she found like in the dumpster and stuff. So that one was hard because at one point I couldn't freaking find like a toilet for her and stuff. But yeah, yeah, kind of like rags to riches, but my own rules. I like that. That is actually really cool because I love rags to riches. It's a really, really, really fun challenge in The Sims. It's, it's one of my favorites to play, but I like that how you can't actually build until you find more, more people or not more people, but, but expand the family. And that it's a four by four. It's not even like a just a random giant room. I like that. Man, I'm gonna have to, uh, next time I play Sims, I'm gonna have to like start a safe file and try that just for funsies. All right, let's go put some points into Hattie real quick and see how this works. Because technically Hattie is not leveled up. She is sitting at level 50. So when we do go into the life servers with this, literally everyone will be one blood web and boom, their first level will be unlocked. Wait! Oh, wait, just a second. Hold up. Oh, you get level one. Oh, you get level. I didn't even notice this. You get level one of all universal perks to start. I thought you had to find those. I thought those were still ones you were gonna have to go through the blood web and find. Okay, so when you get a new character, they'll have their three universal, no, not universal, excuse me. They'll have their three perks, every universal perk at level one, 
And then also you'll have every perk pertaining to what you've prestiged. For instance, um, we're going to use Hattie because that's who I want to put my points into. So currently she has every level one... Um, universal perk. And then whatever I found already, so like Yunjin's level one of Smash Hit. And then she's got her three perks, obviously, and she's got Michaela's three. I didn't know that. I actually thought we had to find the universal perks still. But you have to find the next levels, I'm assuming, but universal perks, you do get to get them immediately. I plan to have oldest child be an heir of the family as soon as they reach young adult the rest the rest of the family moves out so then what would happen like after that like would you start like from not from scratch but kind of do the same thing like they would move out and then you would build their rags to riches and so on yes all of all universal perks are at level one i did not realize that I was over on Michaela's page, and I just thought, I just kind of assumed, I didn't even look, that you'd have to find the universal perks. I didn't know they were automatically given to you. I love that. And then obviously a couple I've had at level two already, like Plunders and Sink. Oof! I didn't know that. That's awesome. You want to play some Sims now, but you're in bed? Don't you hate that? I, I, I hate watching Twitch at bedtime, because every time I watch someone play while I'm trying to go to sleep... Sims, DVD, or any game that I have, I always want to go play. I always want to go play. So I was like, I sometimes will be like, no, I'm going to watch a movie. So I don't feel like playing a game. Because I do that so often. Oh, they continue where it left off. Don't need the initial 10k, but each new family adds a 4x4 four four space. Ah, I gotcha. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to play that way because that sounds really fun. Because I've played Rags to Riches and, you know, just play the normal, take away their money, live off, you know, what you can find and so on and so forth, and then build your house as you get the money. But I like how you can't build until a new family member comes in. I like that. All right, let's go put some points into Hattie to unlock... Ooh, borrow time. Ugh, now I don't know about borrow time, though. I don't need it as much. I, technically, Hattie is at level 45. Because um, this server that they're using was, I think they said from June 20th. So I already have her technically at level 50 on the live servers. So when this does go into effect, literally, I just have to do one blood web for everybody. But today, that is not the case. Because this is a little bit of an older... Um, a little bit of an older server. I like it though. I, I really do. I really do like this new change for the prestige system. I think we got it figured out. I think we got, we understand what's going on now. It's like I said, it's just a little confusing. Why can I find level one of no one left behind in my blood web, but technically it's a universal perk? Huh. Why was there a level one universal perk in my blood web? Oh yeah. Coal Tower are both disabled? I saw Coal Tower was. I didn't know both of them were. Well, I'm not going to go for that piece because I really don't need it anyway. Level 50. Okay, so let me complete her level 50.
and just see the animation effect going into level one. Same as level three, let's go! So Hattie is technically level one now on the PTB server. And all perks of hers are unlocked for all characters. Perfect, I like, I like, I like. For me, Hattie has done on the live server all perks, but two that I don't have and I'm working on Jill. Nice, I really wanna kinda do that now, but now I don't, I can't because I don't wanna lose all my items before this goes into effect. But I'll have everybody at level at least 50. So that when we do go onto the live servers, it'll just literally, I can just put one um, blood web into everybody and get um, it unlocked. But I'm kind of sad now, like I kind of want to prestige like some people to like level one or so that it's already done, but I'm not risking losing some of my items. Also, once you finish level 50, the only perk you'll see is, or the only perk you'll see is the prestige button, yes. Oh no, fire at the scrap yard near my house. I can't stand in my yard and see the scrap yard. Fat clothes. Oh no. That is never good. We had a we had a fire here recently in a like a recycling center. Wasn't near me, so it wasn't like that, but Yeah, it, not fun. Not fun at all. Ooh, chilly. Num num. I well, hope everything is okay, SK, and hope everything stays safe. And they get it out very, very, very quick. Those kind of, oof, those are rough. All right, so um, let's go play Michaela because she's got the most perks at the moment. And technically she's already proceeded to level three and then we'll kind of work on getting everybody to at least level one, maybe later in the stream to unlock perks that I know I don't have that have been um, reworked. Cause if Michaela has dead hard, we're gonna try. <laughs> we're gonna try with this dead hard. I wasn't good with it when it was a good perk and now I definitely am not gonna be good at it. Um, let's see, dead hard. I got the hiccup, sorry. So we're gonna live forever. That was one that just got rid of the, the blood points, right? I've got the thing up, so let me go look. Oh, do I have botany knowledge for her? I kind of wanted to look at botany knowledge. We're going to live forever. Rework. When healing another survivor in the dying state, your healing speed... Wait, I know this. I can read this on their page. No, that wasn't the one. What's the one that... Eh, whatever. Whatever. I'm going to use that one. Do I have botany knowledge by chance? I do! I have botany knowledge. Okay, I'm gonna keep Borrow Time on for our first match. We're gonna see what Borrow Time is like now with the new conspicuous actions. So survivors you unhook keep their endurance status effect for an extra 10 seconds and keep their movement speed bonus for an extra 10 seconds. I like that. It's gonna feel like it's not necessary to use anymore because they already will have it and it's literally just extending it for 10 seconds, but I'm gonna kind of try it out and see what it's like. Body knowledge, you transfer plants found, okay, yeah, duh. Healing speed is increased by 30%, I'm gonna try that. We're gonna live forever. When healing another survivor in the dying state, your healing speed is increased by 100. So there's that stack. Healing speed is increased by 100, so 130. Additionally, performing any of the following actions, activate this perk's secondary function, perform a safe Hook, rescue, take a hit to protect the survivor. Rescue a survivor by stunning the killer with a pallet. Rescuing a survivor by blinding the killer. Doesn't happen. Um, this perk's secondary function is active. Healing another survivor out of the dying state grants them endurance for eight seconds and deactivates the secondary function. Okay. Let's go with this. Let's just go with this. I'm gonna bring absolutely nothing. Doesn't matter, we're on the live server. Oh, I don't have any cakes! I don't have any flans! I'm gonna put a challenge on for extra BP. The fire started behind the recycling center. Oof. Yeah, we had one. Like, it wasn't near me, but it uh, it was just news around here that some recycling center, I think it was down by like Sacramento, had. Or I don't even know if it was a recycling center. I can't remember, but we caught fire. We had a bad one nearly last year. Really scary stuff. Yeah. 
They're not, they're not fun. They had to stop trains going through because track. So right beside it, oh yeah, I know that. We have a lot of train tracks around here too. And there's been plenty of times any kind of fire has totally stopped the trains. And also there's been times where um, a fire has destroyed the tracks and caused a complete mess. Let's see, where am I? I'm on level four. Repair 15 gens, sure. This will be extra BP we could spend today. Does the does the cakewalk? I'm kind of curious. I gotta go look. Does that work in the store? Or does that not work? Ah, that doesn't work. Okay, I was curious. I wanted more BP because I'm totally that kind of person. <laughs> All right, first match. We're gonna test out Dead Hard. We're gonna live forever, body knowledge, and borrow time. We're gonna check out these three together. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing builds. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I, I don't mind seeing their prestige level. I don't like that it tells me it's Nancy Wheeler. No, duh, I can see it's Nancy Wheeler. <laughs> I don't like that. Or they need to make it smaller. Like make make Nancy Wheeler smaller and make the person's screen name bigger. I like seeing people's screen names. I don't really care that it's Nancy Wheeler. I know it's Nancy Wheeler. Normally it's a scrapyard on the south, or excuse me, the west side of the town that catches fires. This time I remember the one here this, oh, excuse me, this is the first time I remember the one here on the south side catching fire. I, we have had some like that, but I don't really live near any scrapyards, so. That doesn't happen. As, oh, I don't have my controller plugged in. Holy hell, what am I doing with my life? Here in California, for me, it's just wildfires. <laughs> Natural wild, wildfires. All right, got my controller plugged in. No, no more panicking, guys. It's all okay. It's all okay. I got this. Also, I need to pay attention to because I'm not gonna probably play Killer today. I might go and play maybe a match or two and use some of the perks I like. But my Killers definitely aren't anywhere near perked out or anything to get to see some of them. All right, let's see what kind of killer we get. Are we gonna get one that's testing out their perks or are they one that's gonna have fun? There's nothing up here. How do I get down? Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm kind of excited to see how many killers today play with overcharged. Overcharge? Charged? Char? I don't know. Whatever it's called. That perk is gonna be nasty. Is it like Ghostface or Trapper? It's quiet. It is blight. Ow! Ow! That's a tree! Alright, so I've got dead hard. Oh, I tried to use it, but I got stuck on a pole! I, got, I tried to use dead horse, but I was stuck on a pole! So I didn't use it. Alright, that was absolutely trash play by me. tunneling or camping so I guess it'd be fine because I had the haste and 
endurance status effect, but I think it goes away, yeah, by the time she heals me, which is fine. Wait, oh, I don't have, I don't have a boon. Yes, I'm Michaela, but I don't have a boon. So, does he have overcharge? Let's look. Oops. No. He does not. Does he have ruin? Oh, never mind. He doesn't have ruin either. He only has, or she only has circle of healing, so. I'm a bush. I'm a bush, you see nothing. This gen was so close. Where is he? This gen was so close, I wanted to finish it. But I hear his heartbeat, and I'm kind of scared to come out of my bush. Oh, sorry, Fang. Oh, that side's open. <laughs> Let's go. I haven't even got to use my stuff. I got a healing build here and I haven't. Whoa, blight. Go away. I think all the gens. I don't know. They might not be over there. I don't know why I had to start my day on Haddonfield where I'm not really 100% sure where everything is on this map. Oh, there's a gen over here I can work on. So I, ha <laughs> I haven't got to check out my perks yet. Dead hard? Because one, I ran into a pole and I didn't push it. And then my other two are, um, well, borrow time. I haven't, I haven't rescued anybody. But... There's also the already um, endurance effect and all that. I kind, I kind of want to be uh, tunneled because I want to see how far I can get with all the new stuff. I'm literally the only one he's hitting, which is tunneling, kind of, but. God, that was weird. That was so weird. I dead hearted. But I don't really know if, uh... Are you healing too? What are you doing? <laughs> this is a nice killer. He is actually playing, like, just nice. But I was literally testing out my dead heart there. I just don't know if I really even did anything. Hey! <laughs> Why? Why'd you pull me off the, the hook? Ring around the gen. All right. Heels, thank you. Nancy just pointed me out and told him to pick me up. This is actually a nice killer though. They're not a, they're, they're playing for funsies, which is what I love. On the PTB. But I, I kinda, I kinda want like, why are, you, why are you following me? Don't follow me. You're making me all nervous, Blight. I wanted to test out my perks, which is botany knowledge and we're gonna live forever. All right, I'm, I'm 
crawl in a... Oh, she took off too early. That's not fair. No, 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 let me get the peels. Let me get the heels. Nancy, Nancy, slow down. Let me get the heels. Oh, fine, I'll go heal Fag. No, I think she wants a slug race. No, oh, Nancy, stop taking off early! Oh no, I'm too far back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me reposition here. Let me reposition here. Nancy! There we go. Yeah! First match, we're getting a slug race! <laughs> That's what I thought everybody wanted to do, but the Nia kept, like, healing everybody. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win! Thanks, Blight! <laughs> First match of the day, we get a blo uh, blood web. We get a slug race. Love it! Love it! <laughs> They totally did. The, the dead horn is is rough. I I don't even know. I have to. What, do, what dollar nine McDonald? What? <laughs> Thank you for the slug race. I don't know what their full name is. Can I see it on their profile? Wait, how do I select their profile now? There we go. Dollar nine McDonald's Sprite. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm glad y'all understood. I was trying. I was trying to get the slug raise, but then like. Nancy would walk away, but then Nia would walk away, and it's like, wait, no, I want the slug race! And I just, like, I wasn't sure everybody was understanding. We had a killer cheat a slug race. He picked up magic and character. <laughs> I love, I, I've seen killers do that before, where they'll do the slug race, and then they'll pick, they'll either pick up someone at the beginning and help them win, or I've seen them pick up someone at the end and help them lose, which is... It's just funny. It's nothing wrong with it. But I don't get to play in slug races very often because normal live servers, sometimes killers, they don't, uh, yeah, they don't do it. Okay, so I already saw this, but here's my thing with the end screen here. This is just my opinion. I love, 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 love that we see the person uh, that they're playing. So, in, for instance, I'm, this is my username, and I was playing Michaela Reed. I like that. Because so many times I'll be like, who was the Nia? And I'd have to go over to the settings and match details to figure it out. So I like that we can see this. I wish it was reversed though. I wish that their username was bigger and then the the player's name, it was in the smaller one. Um, that's just personal preference because I would rather see someone's screen name as the bigger name, but it's it's just something stupid. So what were they running with? So the new lethal, isn't new lethal pursuer? Yeah, you can see people longer. Play with your food wasn't getting it anything. Shadowborn wasn't an agitation. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's my only thing that I wish they would change. I love that we can see who it was. I don't have to go looking for it now. I just wish it was reversed. Because also like when I'm looking over here in their chat, it would just be nicer to see like the bigger name just as a visual for me. And also the prestiging on the sides. No offense. I mean, that's cool, but I, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't care that your character is at level eight versus my two or whatever, but I see what they, they, they want it there because they're like to show your hard work at the same time, but I also really don't care. And I apologize if that sounds completely mean. It's, it's like ranks. I was happy when they took the ranks off there because one, I get very judgmental because I'm kind of a judgmental person at times. But also in another instance, like I would rather see your rank than your prestige if they're going to put something there. 
But that's just me. That's just me. JG boy GG's! Thank you for a fun game. That was my first match of the day, and I was really scared that I was just gonna get like this super sweaty killer because, you know, PTB, all these new perks and everything, but I really had fun in that match. I really did. You played you played awesome. It was fun, and thank you so much for the slug race. I was really concerned not concerned, but I was really like wondering if everybody else was getting the hint that I wanted to slug race and that everybody kinda I think it was who was it? The Fang was trying to get the Slug Race, and I think it was the Nia. I think the Nancy was confused at first, but she caught on. She caught on. But GG's, I had fun. It was a really fun match. And I was playing with perks that were all about healing, and I didn't get to heal anybody. <laughs> Which is fine. It's totally fine. I'm going to try it again. But my build was um, We're Gonna Live Forever and Botany Knowledge to try them out. And then, I don't know. I dead hearted against you, but I don't know if it really even worked or anything, because I don't normally play with Dead Heart anyways. It's just, it wasn't even one of my favorites when it was a good perk. And now I'm just trying to see what it's like, and I don't even know if I even like it anymore. All that prestige on the side is going to do is make people wonder why I'm so bad at the prestige levels. Same. Honestly, same. Because I'm not going to prestige char some characters as fast. And... The way I play on stream is I play, you know, we play Zarina, and then when we survive, we go play Cheryl. I might not ever put any points into Zarina, for instance, because I just don't want to. And it's going to make look like, why does this person, like, suck at prestiging Zarina? It's like, I don't. I just don't want to. That That's the thing. I get the point to it. I like, I don't, I like you know, it's kind of cool seeing what people have put points into and who's their main and all that. But at the same time, it's like... There are certain characters I'm not going to do that to, so it's going to look like uh, she doesn't care or something. That match took you four minutes to get... Yeah, yeah, understandable. Uh, PTVs and killer matches are the worst. I try not to play killer matches on the PTV because of that. I thought maybe it would be better on this one, though, because there's a lot of perks changing for killers, so I thought a lot of people would want to play killer to check them out, but I guess maybe not. But yeah, normally, like, when you get a new chapter, killer matches are, like, far and few between. Because I play killer here and there. And on PTVs, I, like, try to never play killer as much because I get so bored waiting for a match. I thought, actually, on this one, it would be a little bit better because killers were getting a really good rework with, like, the gen regressions and all the perks and everything. But that's unfortunate to hear that it's still not really much better. My sims were just like, who cares if we have company and the toddler is right around outside. Let's go make a baby. <laughs> wow, you know Sims, they be like that sometimes. They don't just, they don't care. <laughs> if you have a character level 50, you should prestige them just because the person. Yeah, and I, I will do that when the live server go when it goes onto the live server. Like on the live server, every single person I have here is already at level 50. So when the when this goes live. I just have one blood web to do, and then everybody will have the perks unlocked. Today, I'm just kind of playing around with testing out perks and here and there. But um, I won't, like, certain characters, I won't prestige probably past level 3 after I get the level 3 of the perks, because I really just won't really want to bother. Want to bother. I would rather put my points into someone like Michaela or Hattie, who I absolutely love playing, or Steve and Nancy are two of my favorites, too. But, like, uh, Ace. I don't really even like his perks that much. And, um, I don't like his character that much. So I probably won't even bother. But when we do get him in a rotation of the way we play, he'll probably be at level 1 and that's it. That'll probably be it. There's way more killers online than survivors. That's why it's taking so long. I thought it was, I thought it was the other way around. There's, there's more survivors. Oh, wait, no. You're probably right. If there's more survivors. Oh, no, I could say that being that way. Yeah. But normally, like, on the PTV, it's like everybody wants to play against, like, like last chapter. Everybody wants to play against the dredge and not play the dredge. And it would take absolutely ages to get a lobby because everybody's playing survivor. 
that was that's usually like new chapter so all right we're gonna go back and play Michaela um I'm not gonna put any points into her we're just gonna try this again let's put in some salty lips got a lot of those uh because I want to do some healing <laughs> to test these two out and then we'll just switch our perks Hey, Ace, because you don't like Ace. Yep. I don't even really like his perks. I don't even like his perks. Like, it, I don't think I've ever really, really used them. So, for instance, Ace will probably be someone I may get level one. Just to get at least level one of his perks unlocked for everybody. But after that, I probably won't even bother even putting any points into him because I don't want to. If he's already got all the perks, I'm good. Hey, another you, uh, another TTP here. Yowie fangirl, 22. Is I'm saying that right? Feed me heals for renewal. Bamboozle. Okay, so that's Michaela. If I can find you. Slavid King? Okay. Yeah, for Steve and Nancy, you won't get their perks for prestige, so might as well get try to get them to at least prestige sick. Yeah. I, I actually got confused at the beginning of the stream. I found Steve's uh, perk level one in my blood web. And I was like, wait, I haven't done that yet. And then I realized Steve's perks are universal. I just had like that brain fart moment that Steve's perks are technically still considered Steve's perks, but they aren't attached to Steve. Because when you hover over it, it says Steve Harrington perk, but it's technically a universal perk. But yeah, Steve and Nancy are ones like I would get them to, to prestige six to get like the bloody cosmetics and that's about it. My controller got stuck, sorry. All right, I've got the heels, which we'll see if I get them. Uh, good luck, everybody. Oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, fear monger, all right. Was that a bird or the killer? David, don't do that. After this freaking ghost face. Ah! Jesus! Hi! You still following? Leave me alone, ghost face. I like how all three of us are hanging around this pallet. Oh, dang it! What are you doing? Stop! <laughs> oh, I forgot to dead one! <laughs> Actually, you know what? I kind of want to play killer to see how it is uh, to play with against a dead heart now. Because I, 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 I like to wait. You know, I, I, I never found a problem with dead heart. I'm a, I'm a killer person who's like, you got dead heart? Okay, yes. How far can I get from you with this in effect? Oh, well, I guess I'll go heal David. Ooh, fast heals! Ooh, look at this go! Oh, all right, I like, I like. I felt that fast heals. All right, so I can get pretty far with the new um, endurance slash haste that goes into effect when unhooked. You still don't want to be... Oh, I was trying to expose him. You still want to be sneaky, though, because you still do want to make a safe unhook. Oh, she's testing it out. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what you're doing there. Ah, 
damn. Interesting, though. Interesting. I like how nobody's doing gens. <laughs> Nobody is doing gens. It's fine. I don't really care. It's PTB. I don't care if I die. I'm just saying. I think it's funny. That's going to be really interesting. My LED started at Prestige 11. Nice. I My problem now with the new Prestige system is I, I've never Prestige anyone but Michaela once. Because I was doing the old style, you know, I didn't want to prestige anybody until I got all the perks unlocked. Now I've never prestiged anyone, so I'm literally starting at zero for everybody. Okay, I have this, so he can't down me. But now he can down me. Okay, I'm trying to find, like, my, how I want to do this. Like, how do I want to make saves in these instances? Anytime someone has who has used Dead Hard, they get down in like two seconds later. I think Dead Hard is literally gonna be useless now. I definitely I didn't like it before because I just wasn't really good at it, so I didn't really mind it. You know, I, I didn't have a problem with it. I just didn't like it for myself in my gameplay. Now I find I definitely won't use it because it just doesn't seem even worth it. <laughs> I'm gonna use dead hard, which is only when there's a challenge to use it, I dead hard into the wall. Same. Same. I'm just gonna move over here. See, he's slugging and I don't care because it's the PTB. I really don't care, but. Oh, why did you DC on the PTB? Come on now. Oh, uh, everybody's DCing! <laughs> well, actually, why I would buy. I wouldn't. I would DC out the PTV because there's nothing matters, but still, what the heck? I'll struggle. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be sour in DC. I'll take my points on the PTV for fun. Because I wasn't trying. I was just testing things out. I wanted to see, like, when I got unhooked... So I ran over, saved David, who was on hook. That immediately cancels out my endurance and haste. And then now David has it. Which I was pretty sure I knew that happened, but. Sorry. I don't know why you would be sorry. It's just the PTB. It's just the PTB. It's for funsies. Barbecue. Jolt is a new one. So they were playing with all the new ones. Barbecue, Jolt got to rework, Pain Residence, and then Fearmonger was the only one. How did the taking hits strats work out for you guys? Well, I was testing out a bunch of things. I'm not really going to comment on it. My best friend just spent three hours in the ER for a smashed finger. Oh, uh, ouch. That sucks. I hope everything's okay with their their finger, though. Smash fingers are no no fun. Because of dead hard, to actually get the use out of it, you need to know exactly when they're going to lunge, because otherwise they'll wait. Uh-huh. Like I said, I... I just didn't like dead hard for me because I wasn't good with it. I practiced, I got better, but my play style, it just didn't work. Now, I had no problem with the perk in general. I didn't mind it as killer. As killer, I used to just wait it out, continue my pursuit of them, and then down them again. Or not again, but down them. So I never had a problem with it. Now, it's just gonna be like, I don't think I'll ever be able to freaking use that because I have a problem with timing anyway. And as killer, it's gonna be even easier to kind of just wait out, I guess, because it's so short. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, it, it's just like, I don't mind the DC in PTV, but it's also like, 
why not just wait? <laughs> but I don't, I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter. It, it's the PTB again. As I always say, nothing matters. You can DC. It's fine. I literally wasn't doing anything in that match because I wanted to see what it was like to unhook, what it was like to... You know, after I got unhooked, how far could I get away from the killer with this new status effect? Um, and all that. It was just interesting. Um, so, if the killer is still playing kind of a tunnel-y kind of game, or not necessarily can be, but a tunnel-y kind of game, you don't want to go for that immediate unhook near you, like I did with that David. Because that's just going to cancel my status effect, and that means I am going to then no, immediately go down, and it's like a waste. No. You're definitely going to want to wait it out, get as far away, and then get healed and come back for the save. Just sore and bruise, not broke. Not broke, thankfully, yes. Freaking finger bruises, though, hurt, but as long as it's not broken, that is all good. I got the move. Thank you so much for the follow, and welcome on into Skelly Town. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. anyway, I'm going to go into another match. Good JJ's and good luck. Same to you. I have fun on the PTP today. And thank you so much for a fun match. I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to meet you again in the fog sometime and see you back here soon. But have fun today and enjoy the PTP. And if you move to live servers, enjoy it over there as well. Because... The anniversary event ends tomorrow, so if you guys have not finished all your anniversary stuff, you might want to hurry it up because it's almost done. I've completed everything, so that's why we're playing on the server today, so that is what we're doing. We are done with the anniversary event. It's sad. It's coming to a close, but I've got everything, so I'm good. Uh, I was going to say something right before that. Oh, yeah, I like that last match. It's like, I don't care that he tunneled. Or, I don't even think he tunneled. I don't care that he slugged us all. I don't care. I don't care that they DC'd. I, I just have that visceral reaction every time. <laughs> even if it's not, even if it's on the PTV. I know it doesn't matter, but still like, why? Because I just have that reaction to disconnects. But it's, I don't I know, it means nothing. I don't know why. Um, but I was kind of testing out to see what it was like to go from like, if I get the unhook, or if I'm unhooked, I have the, the endurance and haste. Can I get over to that person, especially with haste, get an unhook, and maybe even still make my way away from them? Even though now I am technically vulnerable and stuff. So that was kind of interesting to see. Um, let's see. Do we? Let's go play as Hattie. Actually, I'm going to have to take a break here in just one second. I have to use the restroom. But let's see what Hattie has. Actually, I'll set her up in a minute. We'll see what she has for perks. And then um, she's got some plan, though. Um, and then we'll um, test out some other perks. So I'm going to try and keep Dead Heart on because I do want to see if I can work with it a little bit. Body knowledge. Love. We're going to live forever. Um, I don't know if I even that even went into effect, but we'll see. Um, but we'll try some other perks that are getting some reworks. But that last killer was playing with some of the new perks. Um for our killer, but I uh, didn't really get to notice it because Jolt was one of them and I didn't really do gens, so I didn't notice. And then Pain Residence, same. Didn't do gens, didn't notice it. And Barbecue, really the only thing that changed was you're not getting your blood points. So it was kind of nice to see someone still using Barbecue, even without the blood points, because I think I would. I want to finish the challenges, but I want to raise my baby Rexes also. Understandable, understandable. You've got all today. They don't know what time tomorrow, technically, that the event expires. I don't know if it expires early in the day or if it's literally most of the day. I actually don't know that. I just know it expires tomorrow. I just don't know what time. So you've got some time still. My cat just demanded that I lean back and give him access to my lap so he can walk over it to lay down on my pillow. I definitely know that feeling. <laughs> I know that feeling with my cat. My new line of Rex is mustard color with a little catch of red on its back. <laughs> oh, that sounds cute. That sounds cute. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. If the mods want to run some ads to entertain while I'm gone, you may have. I'll be back in just a few seconds, and then we'll continue just practicing with the perks and checking out the prestige system probably on a couple other um, survivors to grab their perks and such. But I shall be back in just one moment. Get around my house. 
totally looks like um, they tried to shoot you in your penis. Is that an arrow or are you happy to see me? Okay. Okay. Hi. Okay. Oh my god. It is... <laughs> I can't. <laughs> it's the Horde of the Fangs. It happened, and I wasn't ready. Ah, fucking hell, dude. I knew that there were people be going for it. I knew people were gonna be going for it, dude. I just knew it. So much for seven. Ain't that a true fact. Yeah, dude, I'm trying to get... I'm a dinosaur. Alright, I am back. Thank you so much for all the shoutouts. Hello, Chuck. Yeah. How are you doing today? Nice, Chuck. We will wait for the shoutouts to finish, and then yeah. I will switch over to the live screen. My bright lights on. How's the PCB been so far? I'm Not good. bad. Ooh, good. I've got two matches in, so. How you got it? Never. No, never apologize for being late, Chuck. Good. You're all Fucking good. Fuck yeah. Oh, it's good to have you I here whenever you can make it. <laughs> Oh yeah, me too. I absolutely exactly. refuse to do that good. challenge. Fuck. Doing what? good, Wait. good! Wait, Irish, watch this. Watch this, it's for you. Good to hear. Do. Just playing the PTV a bit? Nice. Fuck. How are you enjoying I the PTV? Up. Irish, don't look! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying it. So far? So good. We've had one match. Uh, the killer was just having fun. Playing around, and the second one, literally was slugfest. But I don't really care. I'm practicing with all the new stuff, so you could slug me. Not only ca well camping, I would prefer not to be camped because that's just annoying. But <laughs> all in all, I don't really care because it was still fun, and I was practicing with oh, all my perks pigeon. or with perks, not all my perks. Just had a match with a slowly with the slinger on cold wind. Found two hooks literally right next to each other. Yes, that per uh, that perk, that glitch. Oh, sorry. I was waiting for them to finish. It's done. Yeah, they fixed that on the live servers, but I guess they didn't fix that on the um on the PTB server. Cause was it Monday? I think it was Monday they had the patch come out and in the patch notes it said fixed the two spawning hooks in in uh, on that map to not spawn right next to each other but I guess the PTB did, uh, still there <laughs> started in killer but I might go check out killer nice they were supposed to fix that yeah they fixed it on live servers but I guess on PTB they didn't I guess PTB, they didn't even bother or they didn't put that into effect. I don't know. I didn't notice, though, on the live servers if it actually was fixed, if I'm being honest. Because I know that it was in the patch notes, but I, I didn't even notice. I don't even know if I got that map, so that would be another thing. Bunch of liars. Well, you know Dead by Daylight. They'd be like that. <laughs> they, they always tell you something and then they're like, oops, never mind. That wasn't right, or that was wrong, or whatever the case is. Oh, I want to play a saboteur. Um, so, Hattie, I'm going to play her for a few minutes. Uh, we're going to actually play with her overzealous, because you get extra speed. You get extra speed when doing a totem, but it increases when you do a hex totem. So... I'm going to keep that one on. I think I'm going to take borrowed time off. And if I'm being honest, I don't find a, a, a purpose for borrowed time anymore. Other than giving you extra, extra endurance and extra movement speed. But now I feel like I don't have to use it. Which I like, which means I can do so many other perks that, you know, I want to play with or whatever. We could try DS, but... 
Let's try DS. I don't know if we'll ever get to like the end game to check it out, but. So DS, after being unhooked or unhooking yourself, DS activates for 50 seconds. While active, complete a skill check when being grabbed, yes. And it stuns them for only three seconds now. Um, succeeding or failing will disable it. You become the obsession after stunning the killer. And the perk now disables if the X gates are powered. And taking any conspicuous action will deactivate it. Which would make sense. It was deactivated, I think, when you started doing things like that anyways. So, let's play with that. Overzealous. Iron Will. Let's try that one. That's also a new one. Your um, Grunts of Pain. Grunts of Pain caused by injuries are reduced by only 50% now. Does not function while you're exhausted. So, we'll try that. Do I have Dead Hard for her? I do. So, <laughs> level 1 Dead Hard. We'll try it. Random ass toolbox, some flan for funsies. All right, let's go. I do like that it frees up a perk slot, right? Yeah. I honestly, uh, I like, I like everything that's going on so far. The PTB and the changes in general. Um, of course, couple perks I'm like, you know, bored with. I guess you know, not bored with. I I'm gonna try Dead Hard a little longer just because um I want to see. If I can do something with it, I don't think I ever will. I, a thing I was complaining about, like, I, I, you see everyone's prestige level here. I kind of don't, no offense, don't care. <laughs> and it's whatever, I just won't pay attention to it. Um, I think on this screen it's not necessarily necessary to see the person's name because I can totally tell you who this is. That just seems unnecessary. This is Leon S. Kennedy, okay, duh. But. On the end screen, I like it. What am I playing with again? I forgot already. I'm dumb. DS, overzealous, dead heart, iron will. Okay, this is like a random ass build, but I just want to practice and see what each perk does now. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, but man, gens take forever now. I haven't done that many gens yet. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I haven't got to do a lot of gens yet. Actually, the, the, the first map match we got we i did some gens and yeah i did feel like it took longer last match i didn't even touch i'm gonna get gen, my life for this fucking so gen I, don't, I didn't see it <laughs> oh, especially if you're by yourself thank you magic so much for the shout out oh shit see if I can fight like a gen this map uh, that's what i'm doing yeah for real just hey just drop in and say hi i'm heading to the park to play basketball hey no worries netiki thank you for dropping in because first match we kept getting a gen with people because literally the killer was just having fun farming or, you know, whatever you want to say. Um, and so I was doing gens with people. Didn't feel too bad. Uh, last match, I didn't even touch one. <laughs> didn't even touch one because I was practicing and checking out the entire, you know, what is it like to unhook somebody? What's it like to be unhooked? All that stuff. Ooh, dredge. Nope. No, Mr. Dredge. All right, so let's do this gen by ourselves with no toolbox and see what it feels like. I also, oh no, I didn't bring that this time. Never mind. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, where? Oh. Well, I was going to do a gen for a long time by myself, but I was found. I'll be back, you don't worry. Actually, I would like to find a totem. Because I have overzealous, so that'll speed up. But I'm very unfamiliar with this map, so. Oh, you're on the EU servers. That... That under that that makes it understandable. God, words. So with three people on a gen, not bad. Alright, I'm gonna make my way across the map to go save her. 
Unless he follows me. Woo! She's really far away. He could probably grab a locker. Grab a locker. Get in a locker and beat me there, though. Ah, he's chasing Meg. It's fine. No! Leon's gonna beat me! I don't have the fast heals now, though. I took that. I took those off. Okay, let's see if anyone helps me on this gen. Except for at first, I gotta do this. A nope. And a nope. Oh no, who went down? Oh, Meg. Okay. Fairly now has 50k, so you can start building a community lot. Ooh! Uh, what kind of community lot are you gonna build? Maybe, maybe we have. I popped my Janet time. We do have luck meeting on the PTB, that is for sure. Yeah, he's gonna come right for me. Oh, maybe not. God, it does feel slow, though. Like, watching the status bar doing this gen by myself. Oh, he's chasing both those people, so I gotta go. It's slow! Oh. Oh, you camping? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because he can get her off. However, he might go down. God, it's like a whole new game. You got to think about your strategy that you've been doing this whole time all different. Because now you don't have to hesitate as much doing a save for the other person, but you might go down still. Oof, it's like a whole new game. I took this Rags to Riches really extreme and deleted all building and people in the world. That's awesome, though. I actually kind of like that. It's it's kind of like, um, what is that one challenge? There's like a challenge out there, and I've never done it. That was... Where the hell was he? Oh, I told him. Push dead hard. I tried to push dead hard to see if I could even work with it, and I just missed it. Too late. Oh, it's probably a perk I will keep on like 99% of the time today just to see if I can get the timing down on it. First community lot will be a park. Going to use plants from the family's garden to set up a small community garden in the park. That is so. Okay, so you're gonna build a community lot. So can you only. Oh, wait, never mind. I was like, can you only use stuff in your inventory, or... If you have enough money, I guess you could use the money for it, too. So never mind on that. But that definitely helps. not work not overzealous sorry that's my perk um overcharge freaking hear you yeah i popped that gen so many times oh my gosh yeah that was bad i didn't know what to do so ooh, damn So, when you want to stop a gen from regressing like that, so you stop, you do that, and then it pops because you have to do the skill check. Woo! That sucked! But I liked it in another way. Like, it sucks for a survivor, but it also is a really nice perk for the killer. Damn, we've got one gen done, too. Won't be using family 
money. Just going to take my sim there with the plants in his pocket and put them on the ground. They're going to build mode and build without using anything from the family. Okay. That was kind of like, that was kind of my question. And then I totally screwed it up. <laughs> but you answered it, so that's awesome. Now, now I want to play the Sims. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why she did that and then shook her head at me, but okay. I like their name. Coordinated One Man Swift. Now, this part, th that gen is dead. <laughs> it is dead. I don't know how far it was, but it is dead. And if he's got that perk, now I'm kind of anxious to see what happens. Yeah, so I hit the skill check. Good. Woo, that's gonna suck, though. Like I said, when you stop to, when you stop to stop a generator from regressing, and then that stupid skill check comes up, you're just gonna have to actually stop and wait for the skill check instead of quickly doing it. I'm gonna use my toolbox. Because why not? I haven't got to use um, her overzealous yet, though. Because I... Ah! I ran into that gen... Ah! I ran into that uh, totem real quick, but... I don't have life. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey! Oh, don't come out of there, please. Where'd he go? I thought that was a vault. Did he end up kicking this gen? No, so it doesn't have overcharge on. This is a fun match. Just overall. Frick, it did. It just wasn't immediate. But yeah, I agree. Gens feel like they take forever now. Especially watching that bar. It feels long. I feel bad for that Mig. I mean, it's the PTB, who cares, but... Still, damn, she got out fast. Uh, uh, heels! Eugene, heels! Eh, uh, fine. Where, where? Oh, basement. Oh, no. I mean, I could go for the save and he'll be able to get out of the basement, but... Hopefully he doesn't see me! Just trying to get away from basement. get very far unfortunately he should have had all the stuff but it must have expired he should have had it all because I, uh, I didn't heal him I saved him I have no idea where, where Yunjin is and I have no idea where Jen is and I have no idea what's going on in my life and I've decided I don't know 
what I'm doing anymore and all that stuff. There's a totem here. I want it. But yeah, um, listening to her with Iron Will on, it's actually pointless, I think. Because you can clearly hear her. There was like a... Hmm, never mind. There was, I thought there was a locker around here. Besides those two that I clearly see. Oh, there was one like over there. you out with the new stuff but I am injured so on my way I might actually go down oh no basemented okay let me see if I can just run over there oh he's gonna see me though in nightfall trying to like decide how to do this with nightfall in effect guess I'm just gonna go for it the fuck off this will get her out of the basement but possibly not me my crouch here. please don't kill me mr. ghostface I want to be in the sequel do you want heals idea where he went though damn that is that is an annoying perk now more than it already was I hope you Jin didn't mind that I totally left her there I hate it I hate it so much thank you so much for the right plasma how was your stream I'm gonna go back and rechat in just a minute I know I've missed a little bit I saw Magic say something and I started to read it and then it scrolled past. Alright. Let's just go for Hatch, I guess. He probably has barbecue! Maybe not? And I have no idea where on this map Hatch is. It spawned here once. Oh, he found it. Damn! Oh, there he is. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not even really gonna try. I'm gonna see if I can get him to chase me for the dead hard. Oh, told him. Oh, that is so worthless! Is that that dead hard? No, I didn't time that right for sure. But that is not even worth my time. Ah, uh, rip! All right. Still a fun match. Still a fun match. That actually was a very fun match. I freaking hate that new. Well, no, it's not new. It's always been there. But you just didn't see people using it very often. If you weren't doctor, you weren't using it. So yeah, overcharge, oppression, darkness revealed, and call it brine. Oops, I tried to say GG and it didn't work. GG's. Yeah, I hate it. I hate overcharged. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back and read through chat really quickly because I saw magic say something and I lost it. 
And then I will play a raid video for you guys as well. Ice cream truck just went by. Now I want to go get my ice cream from the freezer, but that's downstairs. Oh, I know that. I know that feeling. Faster gents may be overzealous and fast track. I had overzealous. I just had I, I had trouble finding um, a totem that match. Fast track though. I, I don't know if I have. Uh, I don't know if I have that for her at the moment. And I could go play. Um, what's her name to use it though. Yeah, Iron Bill and Spine Chill are kind of useless now. Spine Chill is only going to be nice for accessibility. That's really what it's going to be good for. Thank you so much for the uh, shoutouts for Plasmin. I don't think I asked. How was stream, Plasmin? What's good, you? I'm doing good. Not too bad. Having fun at the PTB. I just got told to end my life on the PTB. Wow. Wow. Seriously, it was a pig that I was trying to give boops. Called them out for being beat and got told. I I think you can still get banned even on the PTB for that. Or not, I don't know if you get banned, but you can still report that. Just because we're on the PTB doesn't mean I can't report your ass for saying something like that. Together might be worth it? Maybe! I'm gonna have to go, um, go check that out. Because Hattie, I technically have hers unlocked. She's already prestiged one, so hers is unlocked, and then I'll have to go play with Fast Track, because I don't think technically Hattie might not have it at the moment. I told them they should stop playing the game. Uh, they should! If they're going to be toxic like that and say things like that to people, they shouldn't be playing an online game. And work their stuff out, for sure. Yeah, go ahead, just report them. Don't, uh, if you have proof of it as well, report them not only through the game, but report them on Behavior's website. Double report their ass for that because that is just wrong. Anyways, thank you again, Plasmid, so much for the raid. Welcome on in, Raiders. I know I'm a little late on that. I was in a match, but welcome on in. I'm glad you had a fun stream. Were you playing? Do you play on the PTB, Plasmid? Were you playing on the PTB? Just out of curiosity. Um, but my name is Scarlet. I'm a Dead by Daylight streamer. I play uh, Day Dead by Daylight on Mondays and Wednesdays. Today, we're checking out the PTB, which is the public test build, with all the new goodies that are coming to the game in the near future. Uh, prestige system rework, uh, lots and lots and lots of perks reworked and stuff. So we're kind of just chilling, playing some random matches, literally just testing out perks and everything. Like I was testing out Dead Hard there. God damn, that's worthless. I don't think I could ever really play with Dead Hard. Not that I liked it anyway, but. I don't think I could play with that perk anymore. Um, and then on Fridays, we play a random uh, variety game, unless something exciting is going on in DVD, like the last two weeks. Um, but I'll play anything from Spoopy the Kitsy. So I will play a raid video for you in just one second to introduce myself. I'm just going to read through chat just real quick. Yeah, it's the PTB. Like, what? There's no reason to get salty in a PTB. Now, I understand, you know, playing sweaty or certain ways, especially on this one, because I take it as a test. I take it as a test. If you want to play sweaty on the PTB this time, it's fine, because I want to see what it's like when you start slugging and how, how am I going to make the save, you know, with these new perks, or not new perks, but reworks and stuff. So I really don't give a crap, you know, if people are going to play iffy. Because at the same time, if I get tunneled out of the game, oh well, this doesn't even matter. I didn't get my points, whoop de doo They don't even count anyway, so it's like I don't really care if you play, play like that. It's annoying still, but especially on this PTB, as a killer, I might slug. You know, to see what it's like to, you know, go up against these, you know, perks now or these new status effects like the conspicuous actions and stuff like that just to be curious how it works but I still really wouldn't like it but anyways <laughs> I will play my raid video in one minute Miss Darcy Diamond hello thank you so much for the raid welcome on in raiders it's good to see you again I'll introduce myself once again. Thank you for the raid, Miss Darcy Diamond. My name is Scarlet. I'm a Dead by Daylight streamer. I play Dead by Daylight on Mondays and Wednesdays. 
And on Fridays, we play a variety game from spooky to cutesy, depending on my mood. Or Dead by Daylight, if it's a special event. And um, thank you so much for the raid. I will play a raid video for both of you, both Plasmid and Darcy here in just one second. But thank you so much for the raid and welcome on in. Good afternoon, beauty. Good afternoon. How are you today? How was your stream? There's no reason for that even in a normal game. It's a fucking game. Yeah, and I, I totally agree. There is no reason for that at any point. At all. But I was just using that as an example. Hello, Raiders. This is Scarlet, except on days she's magic. <laughs> yes, yeah, some days I am. Uh, <clears throat> some days I like to take the identity of my mod magic. Today I'm Scarlet. Who knows? Friday I might be magic. You never ever know. I do like to steal the identity of my mod magic and be here every once in a while. <laughs> I actually forgot about that. Uh, I love it. I need to use I need to work that into my into my raid. Every once in a while, just totally be like, hello everybody, my name is Magic. Sometimes I'm Scarlet, but you never know. I might be magic today. <laughs> Alright, once again, thank you so much for the raids. I'm gonna play my raid video for you guys now to introduce to you guys what it is like on my stream when I'm playing Dead by Daylight. So sit back and enjoy the raid video. Here, there's my ass! <laughs> Y'all see? Dead by Daylight just showed off my ass. Please be a toolbox. Please be a toolbox. Let's go with the toolbox. Oh, you can have that. That's empty. <laughs> Don't you dare come out of this locker. <laughs> I said, Don't come out of the locker, sir. Or ma'am, or whatever the hell you are, creature. Oh, oh my god, I never freaking saw that zombie. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! <laughs> oh, what? Oh my god. Where are you? Did you see that? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I love it! Oh my gosh, Jane's butt stuck out of the locker before we even came out. <laughs> oh my god, he scared the crap out of me! Oh my god, I've never screamed like that. I don't even know what that was. Actually, right now, I really need a flashbang. Because I need to stun the killer, and I don't do very well. Flashlight! Oh, 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 don't do that! Oh my god! Oh, Mikey! 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 <laughs> Mikey, I was having a conversation about flashing you! You didn't have to stab me for it, I'm sorry! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh! Ew! Ew! Sorry. Ew! Ew! You're nasty! I have no idea who it is. I have a feeling it's Wraith. Oh, oh my god! Oh! Oh! Holy hell, it's Hag! Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't you dare touch my butthole! Thank you once again, Darcy and Plasmid, for the raids and trusting your community with me. I appreciate that. I both hope you both had a wonderful stream. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's a little bit of what you can expect to see on my channel when I'm playing Dead by Daylight. A lot of me getting scared pretty much over nothing. Me having just an overall fun time. That is what we like to do here on my channel 
and during Dead by Daylight. Now, I will admit I do get kind of salty sometimes in this game, but it's when I'm having a day. <laughs> but I try overall to have as much fun as possible. And while the raid video was going, I was trying to like look at some of the perks I have as Michaela because she's technically my highest uh, unlocked everything in the perks because we're playing on the PTB right now. Nothing matters. We're just checking out all the new reworks and stuff. So... Uh, while I was kind of sitting here looking through what she has, I'm going to try putting Tenacity on. Because Tenacity, I think, is going to be the new Iron Will. Because Tenacity now is your ferocious Tenacity in dire situations allows you to crawl 30% faster and recover at the same time. Which was an awesome perk already. I liked that. Um, grunts of pain while in the dying state are reduced by 75%. So that is way more than Iron Will now. So I think I'm going to try that one. Um, I was trying to decide what else to test. I think I'll keep Dead Heart on for a little bit. I didn't get to use DS last time, but... DS is gonna, it's hard to activate anyways. It's, it's really, you know, depends on if someone's going to tunnel you. And then now it's like, if you're going to tunnel me... I've already got the endurance and everything, so I've got even more life in me. So that one's going to be hard to kind of test out and see if it's even worth... Not, not worth it, but any different, really. Um, I was going to put on... I do have Fast Track. And I do have Overzealous. So whenever, whenever another survivor is hooked, you gain two tokens. You consume all tokens after a great skill check on a generator. Each token consumed grants a 1% bonus progression for great skill checks when repairing generators. So that's what Fast Track does. I'm going to go look at something. I'm going to go look at what perks were all reworked and stuff because I, I have forgotten all of them. Oh, I know what I wanted to try. Deja Vu would work also. For gen, gen progression, I mean. Because Deja Vu now adds... Uh, is added... Gains a 5% repair speed bonus on the generator that is revealed by Deja Vu. So, if we can find that gen, supposedly, also have Overzealous with also a uh, totem done and or... Not and or, but or if somebody's running a hex and we cleanse the hex, it's doubled. You could gain extra speed from the deja vu one that is being revealed and overzealous, which might make it kind of nice. Iron Will also is 75% too when you get the highest tier. I just don't have that one, so it is kind of a worthless perk. I'm looking at all the perks that were reworked to see what I want to work with and see if I even have them. Off the record's going to be nice too. Once you're unhooked or escape from the hook, off the record activates so you get an additional 60, 70 to 80 seconds of endurance. Pharmacy, you're going to automatically get a green one. Soul Survivor, oh, Soul Survivor's only when you're the last left, never mind. Alright, I kind of read through them all. Trying to find like a combination I want to use. I read through the site, because it's a lot easier than trying to find the perks in my, in my thing, so. Borrow Time did get reworked, Flashbang didn't, um, Kindred didn't, and Unbreakable didn't. Only Borrow Time. And the only reason Borrow Time got reworked, because it personally not even needed honestly it, 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 you could still use it. it it grants extra um so borrow time now keeps their endurance status effect for an extra 10 seconds and gives them an extra 10 seconds of movement speed that's all it does it, it's really not even needed now it just grants you extra seconds because if you can now unhook somebody they automatically get those two status effects in base game with the unhook, so borrow time, all it does is add extra seconds. Unless, um, 
I don't know how it works though, like if you... I think if you heal someone after it though, it cancels it out. Conspicuous action and everything gets canceled, so... No, yeah, all the other three, they're the exact same, but by the time pretty much just is an extension of what already happens in the game naturally now. So that's why I don't even think I'll, I'll run with borrow time half the time anymore, unless I just feel like adding extra time. But since they already get the conspicuous actions, I feel like it's a waste of my perk slot now. I could definitely use something that's more, um, not useful, but could be more useful depending on, you know, what I'm trying to do. I'm definitely gonna try Tenacity. I'm definitely gonna keep Dead Heart in, see if I can do a little bit more work with that. Um, I don't know what I want to run. <laughs> I, there's a couple I want to run, but I actually don't have them currently as Michaela, so I gotta go put points into people. So off the record, once you unhook or escape off the hook, off the record activate for 60 seconds. Your aura will not be shown to the killer. Grunts of pain and are reduced by 100. And you gain the endurance status effect. Let's try that. Let's go with off the record botany knowledge to Nasani to see how quiet we can be. I'm dead hard. That's kind of a weird build, but I'm not trying any builds. I'm just trying all the perks. Uh, salty lips? Sure. Sure. <gasps> Plasma! Thank you so much for speeding Sally. I just remember when I started magic, like these are good, so it's what I always ran. Yeah, and it, those are fine. Those are great perks. I I don't like Unbreakable because I never use it, but it's fine perk. I love the perk itself. It's nice to have when you're having one of them days. I just always find I'm wasting my perk slot. And now, especially with Borrowed Time, I don't, like I always had to run Borrowed Time because I love to make the saves. And I always felt so bad when I'd go in for a save and didn't have it, and then the killer downed them immediately. Now I don't have to worry about that. I can save as much as I want, or not as much as I want, but you know what I mean. I can save, and I don't have to worry about having borrowed time. I can add to it for them, for sure. But now I can actually run with a different perk that maybe I can get gens done faster, or maybe I can heal faster, or whatever I feel like doing for the day. Kindred, I stopped running because it felt like everybody was running Kindred. Everybody felt like at one point was running that um, perk. So I'm just like, I don't really need it. Someone else has got it. It's fine. Plus, I love experimenting with perks. I love trying to figure out, you know, what works for me. What, oh, we're going to Haddonfield. What works for me? What's fun to play with? Because I was like, um... Dead Heart. I never used Dead Heart because I was bad at it, and then once I finally practiced with it and I got better, I was like, alright, I like the perk, but it's not for me. I just, it just wasn't for me. I prefer Balance Landing a million times over Dead Heart, and even more now, because Dead Heart is kind of useless for me. I feel like it's kind of useless in the game now, but it's definitely useless for me. And I love balanced. I freaking love going up to a, like, you know, top of a building or somewhere falling from that height and just boom, taking off and then making the killer have to work to get to me a little bit. And it's so satisfying when somebody, I had someone in like a, in game chat, or maybe it was my stream, come in and said, damn, your balance kept getting me. And I was like, hee 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 hee. That was my point. Oop, sounds like corrupt. So corrupt got reworked as well. Whoa, Jonathan. I think corrupt now expires when someone gets hit. Or uh, whenever the timer runs out, which I don't know what the timer is anyway. Do I have balance? No, I don't have balance, so I can jump. Oh, it's trickster. Ooh, it's trickster. Okay. What did I bring again? Oh, I didn't bring anything that I need totems for, so I'm not gonna bother with them. Ain't gonna bother. I didn't bring those perks this time. I 
I think here in a moment, though, I'm going to start putting points into everybody and getting uh, everybody leveled up so that Michaela can have every perk. That is one thing I'm super excited for with the whole change to the perks is, um, now I can't, not that I feel like I couldn't do it before, because I could have, but now I feel like I can get rid of borrow time and try a different build. And then also with what certain perks like kind of going extinct like fire time like that I can like now like be like oh look at this perk that I never really realized was this awesome but it hope Is that the name of the perk hope yeah that perk sounds like freaking amazing now not that it wasn't already amazing but I find like I'll probably run with that perk a little bit more I just listen and follow what everyone... You should have a terror radius. Anyways, uh, shows me because I can read something a thousand times and never understand unless someone say use this. I can be like that at times. I'm a visual person. I need to see it work and not read it. Does that make sense? Oh, frick that. But, like, I could read, I read the developer update and everything, and I can even read about all these perks, and it'll click. But about five minutes later, I won't remember what I read. And once I start using the perk, oh, man, I fell down here and they got her. Once I start using the perk, or, you know, whatever the case is, we'll, call, we'll use perk as the example here. Oh, that still hasn't undone. There it goes. It makes more sense to me once I can use it. Like, dead hard. No clue. I had no clue exactly what it meant when reading about it when it was coming out, and now that I've seen it in action, I understand. And I find that it is more useless than I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know why everyone's hanging around my house here. Leave me alone. I'm doing my gen. Oh my gosh. I thought that was someone sneaking up behind me. We're not only in a boon, but I've also got botany knowledge. No idea where they are. I hear them. <laughs> Guess I'll just go this way. Jonathan over there running for his life. Ah, I see a gen. Where are Faye is? I've not seen her the whole match. Exactly. Like I'm like the same way. I'm like the same way, like in high school, where where I went to high school, um, or not where I went to high school, but where I went to school. Oh, I thought you were still over there. That was bad. Yeah, he's probably gonna get me. Yeah, that's fine. Wasn't really trying that hard. Um, because I was thinking about what I was wanted to say. Where I went to high school, or just school in general, because it wasn't a high school. We had the option. And I think it was biology. 
to either watch a video or read a book. Or read about it. It wasn't a book. It was just like whatever it was we were learning about. And I opted to watch the videos because I was so much easy. It was so much easier for me to watch what was going on and learn than it was to read about it and learn. <laughs> So I don't know if he wanted to tunnel me or not, but it did make him go after Jonathan. Off the record is on, so woo, I got lots of endurance time here. But I'm gonna run to this boon and heal, so it's gonna cancel it. I like that though, man. That was a lot of endurance time. That's kind of a perk I find, like, I might run all the time now. So, I don't get tunneled. But if I want to get healed, though, it cancels. So, that's a thing. <gasps> I wonder how that would be with resilience. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of want to run that. Isn't that the name of the perk? The one that gives you, um, like, bonus speed for being injured? Yes, I think I'm gonna see if I, uh, she should have it. Is it resilience? Isn't that a, I'm totally blanking. If, is that a general perk or is that somebody's perk? Yeah, seeing is learning for me also. Yeah, and that is same, yeah. In, in school, I did everything that was the option to either watch something versus reading. I took the watch option because it sunk in better. more fun i didn't have to sit around and read i could actually watch a movie or it was an instructional video is pretty much what it was but because it was for me it was biology i'm pretty i'm like 99 sure it's biology because i remember we had to watch a video on them dissecting a frog they didn't get to do it because that was our school wasn't it wasn't that kind of school we didn't get to participate in things like that um but i got to watch someone dissect a frog still disgusting but it was so much nicer to watch it and then read about it. Even though it was gross, but... It was so much better for my tests. Oh, Fang, hi. Oh, you didn't go after her. Okay, yeah. Go ahead and get me with your... I was gonna say go ahead and get me with those because I suck running away from those things. Ooh. close to that gen being done. I don't know if that Fang was trying to take the hits for me or if she was just like hanging around. But I appreciate it because I got away. I'll go open the door. <laughs> I was going back to that gen. Okay, you guys can open the door. Nothing for me to really do now. Oh, I can go get this totem. <gasps> he could have no ed. I want someone to have no ed now so bad. Because I want to see the aura. I want to see what it's like to try and find no ed. And we had to dissect a grasshopper, a frog, and a pig fetus. Ugh. That was one thing I was super happy about with where I went to school. We didn't get to do things like that. We didn't have, like, the resources and stuff because it was just a little tiny school. Oh, hi! Oh, I didn't really mean to run out there. I was going to let him hit me until <laughs> I fell out and I got too close. That's whatever. 
Um, but yeah, we didn't get to do anything like that. We got to watch. We got to watch videos of it, which was bad, but it was a lot better than actually having to uh, do it for ourselves. And then once I went to um, the homeschool for the rest of my high school years, we never had anything like that because I didn't have to take those classes at that school. So I, I consider myself extremely lucky that I didn't have to participate in that. Because <laughs> I'm kind of squeamish as is. I'm kind of squeamish as is, so that's not, that wouldn't work with me. Look at me here. I'm playing, see, this makes me look bad. We got 8, 11, 11, and 12, and here are me, Michaela. Me, Michaela, level 3. GG, say it back. <laughs> GG, I thought they played good. <laughs> If you've got a level 12 trickster, that must mean you play trickster a lot. But see, that doesn't necessarily mean that. Uh, Deadlock, Deadman Switch, Thrilling Tremors, Corrupts. Okay. I like that build. None of them are new though, right? Corrupt is new. Or not new, but none of them are reworked. I think only Corrupt is reworked. And like I said, my builds are absolute, like, nothing. So Jonathan had Dead Hard, Circle of Healing, Botany, Built to Last. So that's... No, Built to Last isn't the one I thought it was. Never mind. Sprint Burst, Self-Aware, Vigil, Lightweight. That's another one I want to run. I want to run um, Self-Aware and Lightweight to see what it looks like with the new um, scratch marks. While I was running Dead Hard, Off the Record, Adrenaline, Iron Will. Well, that's kind of a good one. Except I said Iron Will is kind of pointless now now kids are now the kids do it online on a website oh I wouldn't mind that at all I wouldn't mind that at all I still wouldn't like it because I'd be squeamish and everything but I wouldn't mind it I don't know why I'm collecting this it doesn't matter but why not all right what did I say I was gonna do I totally forgot what I said I was going to do. said self-aware and all that but I don't remember what I said before <laughs> I just remember saying I was gonna try those because I thought that would work well together and I'm totally forgot what I was gonna say I swear to god the PTV is nuts followed up that killer telling me to KMS with a match with a spirit where we literally spent 10 actual minutes getting down and getting everyone up ended up giving my life up for a TTV -er so she could get Hatch. Damn! You're getting some spicy people in the fog. I haven't played that many matches because I've been literally sitting here talking and trying to figure out what kind of builds I want to go for. But all the matches I've had have been pretty good. Like, the, the ghost face one I had was a slugfest, but I will admit I was letting him slug. I wasn't really trying. I was standing there and let him hit me so I could see what would happen with both stuff, but damn, you're getting some spicy people. Everyone in the match was so sweet, and I was laughing the whole time. I ran a meme build, Tenacity, Unbreakable, Soul Guard. Oh, I know neither. I kind of like that build. <laughs> I kind of like that build. I'm trying to remember, literally, I said something like five minutes ago of a build I wanted to try, and now I've totally lost what I was going to do. Oh! Oh, off the record. No, 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 I remember what I said. Off the record, and then I said resilience. Because resilience, if injured, I don't know if I can get off the record, gives you speed. Michaela does not have it, though. Okay, so I'm going to have to kind of find it. I'm going to have to look it up. Y'all too good, Lemonless. Hello. Were you? Who were you in the last match? 
Oh, were you in my last match? It was insane. That sounds insane. Like, I, I just, I don't, I don't get why people are like that in the PT. Unless they're testing out something. But even like in that instance, I don't know what you would be testing out. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know why people gotta be all, all, all spicy in the fog and the PTV. That made me feel better, and I wanted to share the positivity with one of my favorite communities. Aww, Chuck, we love you, Trickster. That's what I thought. I thought I'd ask though before I made an assumption. You played well. You played really well as Trickster. I, I, I would, I was kind of just. Testing out some of my perks, so I apologize if you, if I did anything like I don't want to say uh, sweaty or anything, but I, I'm just trying to have fun on the PTV and test out perks. So I apologize if anything figured out or came across as like rude during the match. But you did really well. I found it hard to run against you, and I couldn't really do much when you did find me. But GG's on the match. I had fun. I had fun. I was running, um, I didn't get to use my dead heart, but I actually kind of forgot I was running it because, um, dead heart I don't run with very often. And then I was playing around with tenacity, botany knowledge, and off the record. I love off the record now. I love off the record. Um, I'm trying to find... Is, can someone answer, is resilience a, a general perk or is it somebody's perk? I thought it was a general perk, which it might be. I'll be completely honest. Half the time, I don't know whose perk is who anymore because there's so much damn perks in this game. I get lost. Yeah, it's a general perk. Okay, I was right. I wasn't a complete idiot. So am I, am I being dumb and do I actually have to find it in Michaela's blood web or does she have it and I'm being dumb and I can't find it? It's not a level three. It's not a level two. And... L... P... Resilience. She just doesn't have it. Okay. Okay. Killer cues are pretty slow right now. Yeah. PTBs, they're, they're notorious for being slow. That's why I stick to... Um, I want to test some of the killer stuff out because I do play killer from time to time. On stream, like, the way I play is I play a survivor, we survive, then we go play against... Or we go play as that killer. But I just... I hate... I hate waiting for the cues. I'm a very, very, very impatient person as it is, so... And unless it's a brand new killer, like Dredge for last PTB, that I will wait. But uh, this is just testing out perks and stuff. So since I don't play killer a lot, I'm just going to test out all my survivor perks and see how to run against it. Because I would much rather play survivor anyway. So understandable. Yeah, killer killer cues, they can be rough. Took 10 minutes to find that game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody, yeah, we had a killer earlier come in and said it took about five minutes to get that lobby. It is rough on the PTB, and if you're a killer main, I I feel bad because it takes so long to get your matches. That's why we're not going to be playing killer today, though. I'm not in the mood to wait. <laughs> is it mean of me to put a cow plant in the community garden area of the park? <laughs> My opinion, no, it's not mean. <laughs> I, I love the cow plant. In general, I thought it's an awesome thing in The Sims. <laughs> All right, well, apparently... Okay, so I'm confuzzled again. Why if Michaela... If Michaela is um, someone I have up to level three, like I'm not putting a lot of points into people for the prestige and stuff, because I'm just kind of playing around. Why did I not get resilience unlocked for her if, she's, if it's technically a general perk? Is that like a random thing? Like some general perk you get unlocked and some you don't? I'm gonna go see if I can find it in the blood web because I kind of really want to try something out with that. But it's not in my, uh... You know what they need? 
You know what they really need in our loadouts is, um, <laughs> they need a search button. <laughs> Lemonless, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on into Skellytown. I appreciate that. And I hope you have fun in the vlog today. If you're continuing to play, I hope you have as much fun as possible. And if you're continuing to play as killer, uh, good luck with the uh, wait times. But you were, you were a lot of fun to play against. I really enjoyed playing against you. Trickster, I um, I don't play against Tricksters very often. They're, they're just like far and few between and it's kind of sad because I like Trickster. I really do, but because I don't get Tricksters often, I, I have trouble running against them. I never know what to do. Those knives start coming at me and I'm just like, excuse me, what are these? I know what they are, but I just don't see them often. But um, definitely, I, I think the next thing Dead by Daylight needs to do is a search button in my perks. Because what do we got now? What do we got now? We've got, eight, I think it's like nine pages when you unlock everything. And I'm impatient. I don't want to look through all these and figure out where my perks are. I know they're in alphabetical order, but... Apparently, I don't have resilience for her. Which I don't get. Why do I get some perks of a general unlocked and some not? Maybe, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, I'm trying to find it. If not, I might go play with someone who has it and then try and unlock um, the build I'm going for right now. Only because I saw that it annoyed someone on Twitter and... We all know I'm a big troll. I will say perks are in alphabetical order. Yes. Oh, I found it. No, this is not happening. Darn it. I always get that one mixed up with resilience. Yes, I, it is, but I'm, I'm an impatient person. So <laughs> I just want to be like, come on, hurry up. Give, me, give, give it to me. Let me find it faster and all that. Especially on stream. But yeah, perks are in alphabetical order according to um, the colors as well. So. Yeah, oh yes, and a favorite perk section, or just maybe make, or just make them listed. Something, like I know they're in alphabetical order, it's not too hard to find, but with seven pages and then having, you know, some, some under purple, some under green, some under yellow, depending on, you know, how far you've gone with prestige and getting your perks. Just to, to help me find something easier and not have me look through the thing 500 times, I would love I would love that. Like a favorite section. Now we have the the one, two, three thing. So that would work um, definitely for uh, like a favorite thing, but I, I, it, I don't use it yet because I haven't actually found a lot of perks yet that I need to unlock. Or not unlock, but I haven't before had all the perks, so I haven't been able to make the build. So I didn't have plunderers either. So I don't get it. I don't get why we got some general perks and not all of them. I'm gonna go look at something. I'm gonna see if Hattie has it. I do it every time. I don't know why I always think this is not happening. Is um, resilience. Sometimes I forget the name of these perks. So she technically doesn't have it either. Okay. I know I could find someone with it. Um. Oops. Okay, so Meg has it. I know she has overzealous now because I did Hattie up to level one. Oh, off the record. Okay, I'm trying this build. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Like, I know what I'm doing, but I don't have like a specific agenda here. So my thing is I'm trying to find something that will help me get gens faster, I guess. 
So resilience grants you a 9% additional speed when repairing, saboing, healing, unhooking, vaulting, cleansing, opening gate, and unlocking while injured. So that's cool. If I can keep off the record on, I will have an extra endurance if I've been unhooked so I could work on a gen while injured. Overzealous wouldn't be necessary because you lose your token when you're been hit. So I would literally need to have off the record to get a totem and to activate overzealous with resilience. And I think I would lose this, but we'll see. We'll see if we can figure out something here. What else would I want to use? I mean, botany knowledge would make my healing even faster. No, I'm doing a gen build though right now. Hmm. Always leaves no scratch mark. Oh wait, what was that perk I was gonna go use? Sorry, this is probably really boring, guys. I'm trying to figure out, like, I'm trying to decide how I wanna work things now because everything has changed. Deja vu. That's what I was gonna do. That's what it was. Freaking, what does deja vu look like? Who is deja vu? Oh my gosh. Leader is a good one. We're That's having a true. Slow chase. Make sure he's okay. Increases other survivor <laughs> healing, sabling, unhooking, cleansing, opening gates, and chest unlocks by 15% when they are within 8 meters. Oh my god. That's not a bad one. I want to try Deja Vu though, but I'm totally, oh, here it is. So Deja Vu, the aura of three generators, which are in close proximity to one another, are revealed to you for 30 seconds at the start of the match. And each time a generator is completed, if you are holding a map, oh wait, this isn't what I thought it was. If you are holding a map that can track generators, generators revealed by Deja Vu are added to the map. Gain a 5% repair speed bonus on the reveal generators, though. You know what? I'm going to stick it on and just try it. I just want to see what it's like, because I don't even run it even without this. You know, without this new PTB and everything. This is a time to try a bunch of new things. Meg literally has nothing, so we're just going to put this on. Let's take that off. All right, let's just try this. Let's be different. Fast track, I think I'm gonna try next. I think I'm gonna try fast track next. I have to look to see what if Meg has it. If not, I'll go unlock it. I think, is it Jun Jin, right? I think I should be able to put her to the next level and unlock it in like two seconds. Bradley's throwing pancakes with a glass of orange juice. Oof, that sounds sticky. Thunder Fury. I like their name. Boon Depression. Oh, that poor person. <laughs> that poor person. <gasps> On oh, Hawkins, too. I, I remember that. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading, but I remember that clip. And I hope it's still true that Hawkins is coming back. I hope. I really, 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 really hope that rumor is true if we get Hawkins back because literally... Oh, they're playing with Hope. Bang. No, wait. Excuse me. The David's playing with the uh, Hope. I was going to try that one next, but I haven't really been able to get to that point. Um, what was I going to say? I was... Oh, Hawkins. I really hope that map comes back when they activate because I was really 
one of my most favorite indoor maps when it was here. I, at times I hated it, but I really did enjoy it. Especially now that it's gone, I enjoyed it even more. <laughs> Hopefully that comes back, and I really hope that when we... I'm going to say when we get it. Uh, a new Stranger Things chapter, that there's actually a new map with the whole chapter itself. It would be fun to have two new maps. <laughs> Brad. Blossom, I hope you're having a lovely day, Blossom. You're a fancy Thank you for the shout out for fancy her as well. Don't make me teabag at you. Alright, let's see how okay. this perk uh, build goes. Then I think I'll try fast track <laughs> after. Do it. Do so I'm not oh. injured, but <laughs> I should have a speed bonus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, I'm kind of curious. So it was good. Oh no, leave you alone. Damn, there's no perk here. Ah, trickster again! <laughs> Sir, leave me alone! I was trying for a totem. I was looking for a totem. Oh, you were right there. Holy hell. Yeah, it's fine. I just can't run against tricksters. I'm shocked we got another one. Uh, anyways, I was trying to find a totem so that I could do the um, overzealous deja vu uh, combination, but there wasn't one near. Before Trickster found me, I mean. It's been a good one. So much smoke. What do you mean so much smoke? you <laughs> i was actually getting ready to ask i'm like wait we just had a trickster is it the same one but i know you weren't, you weren't wearing this last time so i kind of figured it probably wasn't i like that skin that is a that's one of my favorite trickster skins david go away oh no oh no i hope you have saboteur or something okay so now i do have see if he's playing with overcharged overcharge whatever it's called He's not. So my deja vu is not active. So that's the only thing is it deactivates. But resilience gives me speed. If I had a totem right now near me, that would be even better. Let me see. I've currently got deja vu. What the? at me I'm looking for a totem oh well I can't find one let's see what it's like to run deja vu and resilience since I can't find totem at the moment eh, that's not too bad Ooh, okay 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 Okay, you got her. That's cool. Ah, oh, frick. I'm probably dead. Yep. <laughs> yep. I had nowhere to go. Damn. I'm getting some tricksters who know what they're doing. trying to get healed. I wanted to actually stay injured because I wanted to run resilience. It's all, it's all for science. It's called DBD science. Thank you. Woo! I got off the record, so I'm good for a while. I am Gouda for a while. Guess I'll just work on this gen. So I think next round, I'm going to do Resilience, off the record, Overzealous, and then I think I'll put Fast Track in. It does, it does. Trickster is one of my favorite killers aesthetically, because I mean, 
freaking love Trickster. I mean, come on now. And he's actually... I really want to learn how to play Trickster better. He is one killer that I am just really bad at. I've tried. I've failed many times. I don't play him as much because of the way I... The, just the way I stream it. Or not him. Stream it. Because I never see Tricksters. I never see Trickster, so I never really get to play him. And he is actually one of the very last uh, killers I have not prestiged. It's okay, go. Go free. Go free. I'm going down for you. Go free. Oh, she dead hearted. Not, I don't know if it was, it wasn't successful, obviously. Oh, then they DC'd. <laughs> then they DC'd. They went down immediately getting off hook because they dead hearted and it didn't work. And then they're like, screw this shit. And I'm out. <laughs> I just went for the risky save because I didn't care if I went down. I, my build that I was going for wasn't working like I wanted it to. So moving on with my life and trying to find another build. Why do chemists called heal chemists call helium, curium, and barium the um, I don't know if I'm saying those right the medical elements? I don't know why. I was trying to think of something. But I can't think of anything. Oh, look at me over here with no prestige on big. So she was running dead hard in her healing kindred clairvoyant. So oh, interesting. I like clairvoyance actually. I do actually like clairvoyance. It actually would work well with inner healing because you need totems anyways for inner healing. So once you find one, you've activated those two perks. I'm, I'm looking at other people's builds because I'm just curious what they're doing. BT, dead hard, lightweight, hope. Self aware, hope, lightweight. That's what I want to do too. I want to do hope and self aware, just, or not hope. Um, lightweight, self. God dang it. Lightweight, self aware to see just the scratch marks. Because if you can't helium or curium, you're, you, you, yeah. Barium. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. If you can't heal him or cure him, you bury him. Yep. <laughs> it took me a second. I read it twice before I got it. Because I was like, what? And then I was like, ah, got it. <laughs> God dang it, Brad. Oh my gosh, my cords are almost up. Alright, let's try this other build here. Trickster played well. Trickster played well. Like I said, the last two tricksters we've got, they know what they're doing. I, I, I can always tell because I play really bad as Trickster and I've played against some tricksters who are new to him and you can pretty much like duck out of the way if they aren't very good. And me being Trickster, I know that because I'm not good. I know that they can do that. All right, so um, Deja Vu is actually good. I do like it, but... If I can't find a freaking totem right after being, or while being injured, and it doesn't activate, it's all, it's not really worth it. Let's see, fast track. Okay, let's get rid of Kindred, oh, excuse me, Deja Vu. So fast track, I'm gonna keep off the record in, cause I think I'm gonna actually use that a lot. The only thing is, is when you start working on a gen, it, it deactivates. But it will le definitely help me get even farther away from the killer if they want to, like, wait out the conspicuous action endurance and then hit me. At least I got more time to try and get even farther away. So resilience. The only problem with resilience and overzealous together is you have to depend on finding that totem. Because overzealous loses its... Um, it loses its activation when you lose a health state. So it's not like it's always there. But I'm going to try this. We'll see how this works.
Let's just say. <laughs> Why do people say you can't trust atoms? I don't know. I like this person's name, underscore. And they have underscores on their names. I love playing on the PTV. I love that it's all PC people. And like, you could literally like troll them about something, but I don't. Oh my gosh, because they make up everything. I was trying to think, what does an Adam do? And I just couldn't remember. I am not very science. <laughs> I'm not a very sciencey person, so I'm like, I know atoms are like something like that. I bet this killer is a trickster. <laughs> Maybe. Is it you? Is it you? Are you the killer again? I actually wouldn't mind playing against more tricksters. It'd give me some practice. It's like for a while there, when I was having trouble running against, like, uh, who was it? Twins! I was having a. Oh, we're going back to Haddonfield. Why is everyone playing Haddonfield offering? Oh, we might be going here. Maybe not. Everybody wants to go to Haddonfield today, and I don't know why. But yeah, I uh, for a while there, it's like um, I didn't know how to run against twins. I still don't really know how to run against the twins because they are still few and far between. But I feel like I've got them more recently, so it's a little bit. I, I, under, I, I don't understand that, but I get what I'm supposed to do a little more. The other day I did pretty good at running against some and crushing Victor. I always like after stream. Oh, thank goodness we didn't go to Haddonfield. I was like after stream sitting around and like thinking about my stream, like how the matches and everything went and be like, who did I not see today, killer wise? And sadly, Trickster is usually on that list. I played a long time on Saturday offline just for funsies to get points because the blood rush was going. Oh, I don't know if I saw Trickster then. It's, it is Trickster! Is it you? <laughs> if not, damn, what a guess. Ooh, I was just getting ready to say, um, with that. Uh, committing to gens is going to be hard now. A lot of the time when there's a killer, like, in the general area, and I'm almost done with the gen, I'm like, I'm committed, I'm committed, I'm committed! And I can get it done. And now if it's a little bit slower, it's like, do I really want to commit? Am I really going to be able to get this done? I don't know. That one was a hard decision right there if I wanted to commit. I did! But it was still hard. Okay. Now I've got speed bonus. Bo bonus! Bonus. No, 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 sir, sir trickster. Try and remember. <gasps> oh, dragon's grip. Oh my Lord, what's going on? I'm running away. <laughs> Oh, Trickster's over there, no. Damn, Dragon's Grip. I forgot about that perk. Ooh, totem. Damn. If anyone 
has done killer in the PTP today, I have a very important question for them. I have not, but there's been killers in my chat. I don't know if any of them are still here, but... Oh, I mean, if they're playing a game at the moment or if they are gone. Nice. Okay, so I got rid of the exposed status effect. That one is done. I forgot how much I hate dragon's grip. Because <laughs> I do that a lot. I hang out, like, if I can sneak around a killer, then kick the gen, and then just hop right back on it. Woo! I hate it, but it's a good perk. I just want to know if they are showing players' names in lobbies. Oh! Good question. Yeah, I haven't played Killer, and I was watching streams earlier, but everybody I watched earlier was actually playing Survivor. What did the tectonic flakes say? That ah, that's a hard word for me to say. Tectonic plate say when he bumped into the other. I don't know. I wish with the, the whole name change thing that they're doing like that, I wish that they would reverse it. I wish that the username was bigger and then the player's name was smaller, especially on the end game. And in the lobby, I really don't really care that the, the, the character name is there because it's like, it's obvious. I can see that that is a make standing there. That's just my little like nitpicky thing about the whole thing they added there. I don't think anyone has a boon. Sorry, my fault. Damn. I was trying to think something like, I thought it was going to say something about shaking, but I was like, no, no, I can't think of anything clever for that. so quiet for so long. It's creepy. I'm just hoping they no longer have player names showing for killer because of the stream sniping problems. <gasps> oh! After game is fine, but not before. Yes! I didn't think of it that way. That would be actually ideal. See? Every time. Every time I say it's too quiet for too long, then all of a sudden the killer shows up. <laughs> Or something happens like that. If they run back there... I'd kick that, that Jed... Go have Dragon's Grip on it! Steve, what you... Oh, it did it, did it! Steve just yelled! I'm going over here. Actually, I had a problem with someone stream sniping as a survivor. I had a, uh, someone on Monday stream snipe as a survivor and literally trolled me the entire match. So I wouldn't even mind if they just took off the name in general until the end of the game. Even on, even on, oh, why did that person DC? Um because I actually had a survivor issue. It, it doesn't happen as much as survivor. It, it, it wouldn't be as big a deal, but after having that really bad experience with it, 
I actually wouldn't mind it being gone in just general until the end of the game. No. 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 Ah. No. No. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I've been injured for a while, so that's okay. Adam DC'd for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe they were done testing out whatever they were testing. I don't know. But the only thing I would have to say to taking it away for even survivors would be um, the only sad thing would be it's like they can't come in and be like, hey, I'm farming or, you know, do you need help with a challenge? That would be sad, but I would rather take away that than have a stream sniper in a bad way. What did the volcano say to his beautiful wife? You're on fire? I don't know if that's right, but that's my guess. I watched a killer lobby jump looking for streamers so he could sit in their stream and snipe. He made no secret of doing it, so I I'm gonna make it back over here. Uh, anyways, made no secret of doing it, so I started going into the survivor streams and letting them know their killer was sniping. Oh, definitely. I would have too. Also, you can report him. Them. Her. The streamer. Because, um, I don't think it's a dead by daylight offense. Oh. Oh, I don't have adrenaline. Damn. Uh, but, uh, Twitch, it's a very, very big offense, and if you say it, or report them to Twitch, I think they can get banned for it. You did? Good, good. I figured you probably did. Just saying it as a general. If anybody ever sees someone stream sniping, either killer or survivor, and, it, and meaning survivor like in a bad way, uh, report their ass. Because under Twitch law, is what I'm going to call it, it's bannable. You as a streamer will be banned for it. I don't think uh, Dead by Daylight won't do anything about it, though, so. That's what's sad. I wish Dead by Daylight would take action, but they don't even take action, really, even if it's a horrible, like, offense. I don't know where everybody is. I was just kind of waiting to give someone, like, speed bonus if they wanted it. I lava you. Damn it! I was close! I like I love you better than mine, though. <laughs> I say magic stream all the time. <laughs> and that's what I was like, I was saying, like, yes. I like, I like, that's not a big, that, oh, I'm right here, but I can't do anything. Like, I don't mind most of the time, like, survivors snipe in my stream. Because sometimes, like, it's, like, in a good way. Because, obviously, we're not a swift. Obviously, we're not a swift. I'm giving them. Ah, I got me. I was giving them, um, target practice. But anyways, as a survivor, um, I, I think it's okay because, like, people will come into my stream and since we're not obviously in a Swift or a Discord call, they can see my stream, hear me, and get, and understand where I'm at or whatever. Um, but yeah, on Monday I had somebody actually stream snipe me as a survivor, and I was a survivor, who was literally just following me around and pointing me out to the killer, and then when the killer downed me, they were teabagging me and pretending to heal me when the killer had a sloppy butcher for the hemorrhage so it was love and lust again <laughs> I had a feeling when they said that, that that's what was gonna happen so I didn't really appreciate that they got banned immediately but I couldn't really report them because they weren't a twitch streamer so I like when the killer comes in and says let's just farm this yeah see I like that <laughs> GG again again trickster <laughs> I 
What? If you would have gotten that unhook, I would have made a fool of the killer and would have been able to get us both. I don't really care. It's a freaking PTB. Who cares if you died? I love Pop Tarts. <laughs> Why didn't you do anything? Because it's the PTB and it doesn't matter. Because I'm trying my own build. People getting salty because I didn't go for the save. I was having fun with the person who I knew was in my chat. I didn't have stream it by the way. That's totally fine if you did. It's the PTB. I really don't care. I appreciate the fun match. You were awesome again. So what were you running? You were running overcharged jolt eruption. Dragon's grip got me. Exactly. It's the PTB, exactly. Like, I don't really give a crap if I save you in the PTB or not, especially if you're gonna be salty about it. Please relax and grab a breath of fresh air. Thank you, Lemon Lust. You're awesome. I appreciate you. Oh, you can still report them, even view. But what if I don't have. Oh, I do have evidence. So maybe I'll have to do that after stream because I still have my stream up. I just asked what you were doing. I was having a fun with the killer. That's all I was doing. I just asked what you were doing. I was just having fun with the killer because I, I was like 99% sure it was you again. So I was like, you know what? I am at the gate. Let's just have fun. If I end up getting you again, I'm gonna dodge. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a horrible survivor, apparently. <laughs> uh, I was, like I said, I was just having fun. I, like, I was pretty sure it was you, so at the exit gate, I was like, I'm just gonna walk back and forth, give you some target practice, you know? And, you know, it was like, I don't, I don't really, like, I don't really care. I was trying a gen build, anyways. Off the record, I was just like, it probably will always use that. Overzealous, resilience, and fast track, I wanted to see how it worked together. And it's the PTB. You could slug me. And I won't really care. <laughs> and we didn't go. Did you put the Haddonfield offering? To oh no, were you one of the ones with the Haddonfield offering? Yeah, I saw that and I was like guaranteeing. I thought we were going there. I was like, oh no. Because everyone's playing Haddonfield and I don't know why. And it's not a big deal. I don't mind going to Haddonfield. I was just glad to not go because I'd been there so much today. I wasn't even looking at the offerings. I don't know why that guy tried to go for the unhook. I yoinked him so fast. Yeah, and then they got all salty at me for not, not going for the unhook. So it's like, because I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to, it doesn't matter. If it was a real game, like on the live server, oh, I would have probably, I would have probably gone and tried to find some way to heal myself. But I didn't even do that because I was running resilience and I wanted to stay injured. For the um, magic gifted a dear one sub to Lemon Lust. Magic, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Lemon Lust. Channel. Hundred and six, holy crap, magic! You are simply the best. You all, you always go to Haddonfield, nice, because it's open and the loops are short. Oh, uh, that makes sense. That makes total sense. That makes total sense. Welcome as a celebrity to Skelly Town, Lemon Lust. I hope you enjoy your emotes and your stay with us and. Thank you again for a fun match. I had fun. Okay, I don't know why they were all salty. I. It's the PTB who really cares what happens. Um, and again, my build. My build was literally for gens. So. I wasn't really in the mood to save people. <laughs> if you know what I mean. But I had fun with you. So that's all that matters. As long as we had fun together, that's all that matters. If people want to be salty. Be salty. Um. But yeah, I was just trying a gen build. So resilience would give me 9% additional speed. So I never wanted to be healed. Overzealous, I actually had for a while. So I had 6% repair speed plus 9% with resilience. And then I had fast track on as well. And off the record is I think honestly something I'm just gonna use all the time instead of borrow time. I might actually just use off the record all the time. And I was the only one escaped, right? Isn't that the point of the game? Isn't that the point of the game is for me to escape? If you couldn't escape, you're a problem. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm a very altruistic person in normal play. I, 
I will definitely, like, in a real game, if I'm not testing out perks, I would literally go for the save and die for a person. But I didn't want to that time. Because I, I, I just didn't want to. I was trying a specific build because that's what this PTB, this PTB is all about. It's about having fun, uh, especially with all the perk reworks, trying to find out what works best for you. And honestly, if you died that match, I mean, your points and nothing carry over. So why is it so important, other than maybe for pride, to escape? I think it's nicer to, in the PTB, let the killer, let the killer get you. Give them the points. I think it's nice to escape too. I don't know. It's just, it's a PTB. PTB. That's all I have to say. Have fun. Stop being so salty that you didn't escape and I didn't come back for you. Because I guarantee you, if I got you in a real live server lobby where my rank counts and my points counts and everything, I'm coming back for your ass for sure. I'm definitely coming back for your ass. But at in that last match as well, I was by the gate. Trickster was up on top of the hill. What was I supposed to do? What was I supposed to do there? Because I was injured. You definitely could have downed me with your daggers. You did, because I was just giving you target practice. I wasn't going to be able to, like, loop back around and get them or anything. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. What do we want to play with next? It was a fun match, and I had a lot of fun with you, Lemonless. And thank you for being such a fun killer. Your dragon's grip got me, though. Holy crap, I forgot all about it. And I just touched a gen, and then I was exposed. And then I was running around just trying to, like, not find you for the time I was exposed. <laughs> I, I, I need a... I need a uh, whenever I can unlock more emotes, I need a salty one now. I have a trash and a toxic, but I need a salty one. Um, okay, so that was my gen build, and I don't mind it. I don't mind over, or excuse me, yeah, overzealous resilience. Off the record, I really think I'll keep for a good majority of my builds. And fast track. My only issue with it is, um, like, if I'm injured, it means I lost a health state, so my overzealous cancels out, so I need to find another totem fast to get that. And I need to find a hex totem to get it doubled. It would even be better. So yeah, I like that build. Let's see what else we want to run with. What's another another build we could do? Oh, I want to try this build. Just to see it. It's it's kind of random. Oh, also small game. So oh, resilience, overzealous, small game to find the totem. And then possibly counterforce if you really want to get it done fast. I think it's counterforce. Damn, that would get you the totem for overzealous. Plus you're injured. Oh, I like that build. I don't know if I'd run that often, but that would be a good build. Um, do I have Nancy's What you call it? I don't know, I actually know its name. Situational no, self-aware. I wanna see what this looks like. Um, this is like a totally random build. I'm just gonna go with it. Resilience, overzealous. I want to see self-aware and lightweight now, or lightweight. Excuse me, self-aware. Just let me see it. So I have to go play killer to see it. How can you know a tree is a dogwood tree? Oh, by its bark! Dang it! I was like, cause it barks. <laughs> but then I was like, no, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Dang it, I had it. I was trying to think of something with bark and I couldn't get it. Salt. I need, I, I love salt. I love the salt emotes. That one's so much more needed. Because <laughs> I find so many more salty people than I probably do toxic people. That's actually not true. There's, there's a lot of toxicity in there, out there. What's this? What's this next button? Oh, that's my next. So why did that move down there? That's the survivors. Okay, never mind.
So since I don't want to go play killer, I'm going to see what the lightweight, um, the lightweight uh, scratch marks look like now. And I wish I would have had hope that last match because I would have been able to see what it was like. Because I know it never expires. Did it get a buff though? I actually forget. Oh, oh no, it just removes the time limit. So it doesn't give you, it doesn't get a, uh, more of a buff. Lucky Break is another one I want to check out. Saboteur I want to check out, but I have to actually hope that a killer is bringing um, a Scourge Hook. Because um, Saboteur, you can now see Scourge Hooks, which is very informative. But if they don't have it, I I mean, it's still nice, but I won't be able to see that actual Scourge Hook. I feel like that would do the sweaty one. I need all the Dead by Daylight ones, you know? Sweaty, salty, we've got toxic, and we've got trash. Trash could be anything, but I need a sweaty and a salty one. I have no more room, though. My emotes. Well, I have room because I could put them on tier two and three, but I don't use those because I don't want people to feel pressured to spend more money on me. I saw the killer over there. By purchasing tiers one and two just for one emote. When I only get half of it anyway. Oh, it's a Nemi. Okay. What is a tornado's favorite classic game to play? Oh, a Twister. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to run away here in just a second to see what it's like with Lightweight. I was actually waiting till I actually had to run away. All right, let's just test it out. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, it goes on the wall. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, I, 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 I like it. I like lightweight. But I think as a killer, I'm gonna hate it. I have trouble finding or following scratch marks as it is. Now I'm gonna have even more of a hard time finding scratch marks if they've got lightweight on. How do trees surf the internet? Surf on the internet, excuse me. I liked that though on a surfboard. I don't know, I can't um can't think of anything. It has to have something with surf, because that's all about the web. Alright. I hate this perk, though. I hate self-aware. I was just using it to see. Um, I hate seeing my scratch marks. It is a nice learning um, perk, though. Spine chill, self-aware, two perks I really highly recommend if you're starting in the game. Because self-aware will show you what kind of scratch marks you're leaving behind and how you're leaving them behind and stuff to learn how to run against a killer. And then Spine Chill because it kind of tells you, obviously, where the killer is coming from. Or not where they're coming from, but they're near. <gasps> the Snack King! Hello! How are you doing? Ooh, that scared me. I am doing pretty well. Thank you so much for asking. Having a fun time on the PTV today. Or trying to have a fun time on the PTV. And honestly, can't complain. Can't complain. It's been a good time on the PTV so far. Ah! Last match uh, got salty survivors. Eh! I'm not doing very well with my self-aware perk here. 
Or not self-aware, my lightweight perk, I mean. What the hell? Oh, did he go down by a zombie? Oh no! No, I was too busy watching whoever that was. Somebody just got downed by a zombie, I think. That was distracting. So, conclusion is I don't really like running this perk, but as killer, it's hell. Ah, oh, they log on! Ah, oh, damn. I thought it had something to do with surf. I'm doing great! Woke up from my fa my fat nap after work, so it's been great! Oh, hell yeah. I know that. I love those naps after work. Holy hell. They were the best. <laughs> I forgot it was a PTB today. How are the changes so far? I actually like them. I haven't really come across oh anything what that, that I haven't really that? liked. What the fuck? Thank you, Brad, so much for the shout out for the snack king. What the hell was that? Oh, no. Nemi zombies kill more than Nemi himself, I swear. You know what? I can't tell you how many times I've run into a zombie and it's knocked me down. Because I'm like trying to do something, and it's like, oh hell, and there's a zombie in front of you. On my Discord, I, oh, no, it's okay. On my Discord, I found a funny TikTok of a zombie uh, taking a, um, a no-ed hit. I loved it. The zombie totally negated the noed, and I loved it. I wish I could actually get that to work. But yeah, uh, PTV? Oh, he's gonna take my perk, or my totem. So far, fine. My only complaint is dead hard is useless. Dead hard has no purpose now, in my opinion. I didn't like running it before, because I was bad at it, and I find that Committed, 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 committed. Got it. Uh, I find that I can use like balanced exhaustion perk way better than I can use um, dead hard, but yeah. That's my only complaint so far. Oh, did someone get him? Oh, damn it. I was re. Oh, what the? Did the server go down? It's not me. I'm still alive. You've been disconnected from the host. Match server unavailable. Oh, it was me and the Nemi technically that got DC'd? Okay. Okay, well, I'll read chat now. <laughs> I hate it when zombies block my loop. Oh, I I hate it when they do that, and I hate it when they camp you on hook. <laughs> I freaking hate it when you're trying to go for a save or whatever, and the stupid zombie is standing there in front of a hook. I had that happen, not obviously this match, but a couple times ago when I played a, against the Nemesis, there was two zombies camp on the hook. Yes, it took the no to hit. It was awesome. I loved it. It was on TikTok and I just happened to run across it and I was like, oh hell, I gotta share this with everyone. Cause it was like, when when a zombie takes your no-ed hit for you and then the person escaped. That sucks for the dead hard users. I never used it because it was terrible. I using it too. Yeah. I got better at it. I got definitely better at it, but I found that I was not using it as efficiently as I was using like balanced or life. And since those are exhaustion perks along with Dead Heart, well, what? Oh, I guess Dead Heart still. I don't know. Is Dead Heart still an exhaustion perk? <gasps> he had no ed. Damn it! I want to see no ed um, now because I want to see its aura reading ability. But anyway, I something happened to the server. So, uh, but yeah. So I, I I don't mind that Dead Heart got reworked because I didn't use it, but I do definitely feel for the people who use it all the time. I guess. I guess the PTB server crapped out on me. I don't know. Because I'm still live. So it wasn't like my internet went out. It's so rude when they can't park for sure. Yeah, I know. I hate that. I 
freaking hate it when the stupid zombie camps the hook. <laughs> yeah, Magic is a big dead hard user and it's big old ripperoni for her. It's so sad. Like I said, I didn't use it, so it's not a big deal for me, but I do feel really bad for the people who really loved it. I really do. I was using it last build to... I was using... I was using... Oh, built to last! I don't know why I was reading that wrong. To refill my bed kit once and a zombie camped in... Oh, no! They camped you in a locker? Oh, that sucks. I, I, I don't mind the zombies in the match. Like, I really don't mind them but damn when they freaking get in your way when it comes to like lockers or unhooking or even just in general when you're looping it is hell it's like just leave me alone go away i'm going to have to see how it is for me now i don't think you're gonna like it magic but i don't know you might you might be able to use it way more effectively than me but i personally think it's worthless <laughs> I personally think it's worthless. And I was bad at it to begin with, but I just don't, I, I can't, I can't use it now, especially, and life and balance for me are way more effective anyways. Yeah, in the video, the zombie hit the person, so because the zombie hit you and you were in the animation, you couldn't get hit, so the Nemi missed. That's how it worked, yeah. I couldn't really remember because I hadn't watched it since Monday, but hey. It still prevented the no-ed hit, so it worked. I bet, I bet that Nemi, whoever that was, was just like, you know, zombies are nice for Nemi because they can work really well for him, but damn, that one screwed him over. But it's okay, I like life as well. Life is like a perfect, um, or not perfect, but a really good sub now for Dead Hard, I think. Because Dead Hard, it's just like, I've tried it a few times and it's not working for me. It, it didn't work well before, but it's definitely not working for me. Alright, so I tested out Lightweight and I tested out Self-Aware. Or, no, I tested out Lightweight with Self-Aware. Since the match was DC'd, I don't need to run that anymore. What else do I want to try? I'm really liking, oh, I want to try this build. It's, it's, I've got like basic, like level one perks. So where is it? Frick, what's it called? Small game. Oh, does she have a higher level of small game? Yeah. So I want to try it resilience over zealous. And I only have level one of that, so that's it's not getting its extreme benefit, but I want to try something. And for funsies, let's see if I can find it. I have off the record, which I'm loving. Do I have level two of it? I only have two. Oh, okay. Here it is. I want to try hope. Just for fun. Wow, Meg is running out of crap. Okay. So I'm gonna run Resilience over Zealous and then a uh, small game to find the totems. And then hope because if I can get to the Exegate, I just kinda wanna see what it's like to have the zoomies the entire end of the match. <gasps> right, Panda! Okay, I can do that. I'm gonna go back and read through chat because I was reading through my perks real quick. I love your veto, everybody! Thank you! I'm going to actually be changing it right now because Magic redeemed Red Panda. So I'm gonna be changing it to a spicier version in just one sec. I, yeah, I wanna try that next. I was actually thinking about that. Adrenaline and Hope together. I first wanted to try this um, uh, overzealous resilience uh, small game just to see what it's like. And then I think I'll swap out small game for um, adrenaline because I want to see what it's like. For Brad. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'll change it one second. I'm just reading through chat so I'm not behind. Uh, it says out of stock because I think I have it set for you can only redeem it once every like 30 minutes or something like that. Just so um, somebody doesn't redeem it twice and then it totally goes to waste. That, 
That is why. Let me go change to my red panda before my match starts. What the hell? Oh, avatar selection. All right. Here is my red panda version. I still need to change my outfit eventually because I just need to change it. But this is my spicy version. Because I love freaking red hair and I have red in my hair. So this is kind of like a version of me. It's not this bright though. That's what's unfortunate. Do you want me to redeem? Um, do you want me to... Uh, not redeem, excuse me. To... Um, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Give back your points, Magic. And then Brad can redeem it in a few minutes. I think it's on a 30 minute cooldown, if I'm not mistaken. And I just did that so it wouldn't get redeemed twice. And then I'd have to cancel out, you know. Freaking bird lady! Frickin' bird lady! Oh, I'm totally screwed. Yep. I am totally screwed now. Ma'am, you need to cool it with your birds. What? That was way over here! Wow, ma'am! Were your mashed potatoes lumpy or something? Is that why you're all upset? Well, well, thank you for uh, accepting that. I was just getting ready to. Your red panda is cute too. Thank you. Oop. Is that back here? Nope. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. I'm gonna go help with this. Heels. Thank you. Yes, this is my spicy version of my red, uh, my VTuber because I wanted to have something you guys could redeem to change my VTuber up just a little bit. And this was, I thought, a really cool idea because I love, I wanted to change my VTuber to red hair. But purple is my aesthetic, so I'll keep the purple. Frickin' bird lady, though. To watch out where these birds come from, especially on Midwitch. Okay, if you don't mind magic, I mean, I can totally redeem it and just swap it with Brad here in a few minutes. But that's up to you guys. I will do whatever you guys want. <laughs> Not Edgar Allen, who? Stupid bot, though, for... I mean, I get it. Censoring Ho for there for a second. I feel like I thought she was right there for uh, the vaults lately has been insane I feel like I've been down so many times um, going through a vault and I'm like halfway through the vaults <gasps> so spicy alright I waited way too long to come get this uh oh. Uh oh. Counter force would be super. Nope. Committed, 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 committed. Got it! Got it! I'm going down for this. Yeah. It's totally fine. I, I can't even freaking run against the bird lady because I'm just having difficulty. That was like an absolute trash run there, but it's okay. Penis watching. Get in the car, Brad. Brad, get in. Oh, I missed. I couldn't reach chat fast enough because the shoutout started rolling, so I missed a lot. Sorry. Almost three. I will go back and read through it. Just one moment. The fam that you guys have formed here, the love and support you guys have been giving me has been absolutely incredible. Like, you know. I started I I'm streaming die here. because I've had confidence issues yep. Wait. and hella anxiety Someone's coming. and I thought that this might help and you know what it is oh, helping I got that a lot. spicy totem. I have no you idea what it was though. You guys are helping me a lot and I absolutely respect the fuck out Which of you. Which really sucks. 
you can poop because I wanted the spicy totem for the bonus Freaking birds. Oh my god. This is getting so annoying. Oh my god, that's so disgusting. I don't want to repel anymore. I want a vault. I kind of want them to just down me because they're actually tunneling me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this was like the gross. most unfun match on the server so far. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to mori me? Oh, you going to leave? Do you feel bad? I was just giving up because I was tired of playing against you. <laughs> I was just giving up because I was tired of playing against them. Because I'm actually running just really bad against this bird lady. Seriously, ma'am. You know what? I'm keeping these birds on me. I'm so tired of these birds. I'm so- just down me! Please let me go! Fine, I'll get rid of these birds. Fine, I know I can go in a locker, but I'm not going to. I can't do anything! Alright, I'm going up here. Uh, maybe. Fine, I'm gonna do a gen! I've got resilience. Actually, wait a minute. I don't think she's gonna let me do this totem, though. These birds are so disrespectful! I know! I know! I don't know why she didn't pick me up there. Maybe she felt bad that she had kind of tunneled me for a second. I don't know. I just- I'm having trouble! I just cannot run away from- She's leaving people down. I don't know. I'm just having trouble running against the birds. And it happens. Sometimes you get someone who's just really, 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 really good with playing the artist like a trickster and you can't do nothing not really sure why she's not picking them up though where Oh, above us, okay. I got. I don't have botany, though. Oh. Where was she? Woof! I don't know. I think this artist had lumpy potatoes for lunch. I don't know because she is like mad with those birds. Trying. Yep, we got birds again. We've been birded. Oh. Oh my lord, lady! Stop! Stop! Please pick me up, please pick me up. Don't leave me down. Please pick me up, please pick me up. <laughs> Thank you. I'm tired! Meg just wants to go home! Whoever is playing Madam Bird here knows how to... Knows how to work those birds. And I can catch up and chat that I've missed. All right, let me go catch up. I was reading something and then it got pushed away from me. Got me a scared cat now. Someone, sh oh no, shooting out fireworks. Curry's sleeping through it, but Elfie is not happy about it. Why are people shooting out fireworks? Why? It's June. Well, I know the answer to that. People are dumb. Remember when talking about plastic surgery was taboo, now nobody raises an eyebrow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Give her her points back, I will for sure give them up. Okay, I can do that. 
That's what I was looking for. Whatever Brad wants. All right, I'll do that. Yeah, the vault heads are ridiculous sometimes. Also, well, it's the same thing as a vault, but like the pallet vault too. I've been so many times I've vaulted over something and I've been like almost running away and their hit hits me. And it's like, what? I wasn't even like near you. Ready to drive now, love you. I love you too, Magic. Have a safe drive home if you're still here. And if I don't get to see you later, have a wonderful stream and I hopefully will be in your stream later as well. <laughs> Magic's Sims pooping and me explaining to you feet that you're supposed to poop on the training pads, not eat them. Gotta love, gotta love the two coming up together though. I, I don't know. Like she wasn't really playing bad. I won't say that. I mean, she did down me and then left me, which I don't get, but I, I'm not going to stick around to see what their uh, build is, but Damn, they just were really good with those birds, just in general. I think whoever that was, was somebody who just plays artists a lot. All right, I've rejected Magic's points for the Red Panda. I don't know if that means you can do it now, Brad, or not. Redeem Red Panda, but if not, um, it's I think it's like a 30 minute cooldown. I think. Well, that was sure interesting match. Um, nothing against anybody though, it's fine. Again, it's the PTB. Nothing matters. I'm not mad about it. It's just like, holy hell. They were just an over, or not overpowerful, which is a very powerful bird lady. Um, okay, so that's actually a nice um, build. Resilience. <laughs> Resilience is not good versus bird lady, though. Um, small game. Hope I didn't get to check out. I didn't get to see how hope worked. Well, I know how it works. I didn't get to see what it was like. So, do I want to run it again or do I want to try something else? Let me go look at something. Let's see what other perks there are that I have not really played with today. Self care, I'm not going to bother. I hate that as it was, and now being reduced even more. Uh, I'm going to hate it even more, so I'm not going to bother. I like botany knowledge. I like its rework. Borrow time, I like its rework, but I probably won't use it anymore. Dead hard, hate it, tried it. DS, uh, I like it, but I'm not really gonna work, uh, play with it anymore because I, I only used it when I was having bad days anyway. Oh, I was gonna try. Uh, sorry, I was gonna try. I forgot the name of the perk again. Saboteur. I was gonna try that because I just wanted to see it. I just wanna see it. So let's just take out small game. I do like that. I do like that build with um, overzealous and small game. Resilience isn't really necessary, but it's kind of fun. Saboteur. All right, let's go with this. They like to annoy their neighbors. These pr oh, these particular people are an interesting bunch. I know neighbors like that. Yeah. It oh, it's an hour. Oh, okay, it's an hour. I thought if I would have, I thought if I would have redeemed or not redeemed, excuse me, gave magic her points back, it would have like reset. But not, not the case. That's how it should be, though. Twitch. If someone redeems uh, a channel point redemption and the streamer has a cooldown on it, if I cancel it out, like refund the points, it should reset the thing. But whatever. So how is everyone else enjoying the PTB? For those of you who are playing it today, you guys having fun, enjoying it? I was gonna switch to live servers today if I felt like it, and I say this every freaking PTB. The only reason I'm not is because it's already 5.30 and I haven't even finished looking through the perks. I say it every PTB though, I'm always like, ah, uh, we'll switch to live servers later because I'll probably get bored. Yeah, no, 
know, that is not really bored. But, getting on stream today has definitely helped my mood. Just saying. Like I said, when I began stream today, I was just feeling like... I woke up this morning and chose violence and was just in a bad mood. And, uh... Was almost contemplating not streaming because I was afraid, like, I would just get worse because, you know, it's dead by daylight. <laughs> you never know. Um... But you guys have definitely helped me have a better day so far, so I appreciate that. You guys are so amazing. It's always so much fun to come on and hang out with you guys. I was just scared to play DBD because it, it can be a rough, it can be a rough game. Okay, no worries, Brad, no worries. If you forget, it's not even that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal if you forget. <laughs> But the PTV has been fun today. Honestly, just those two survivors who were like salty that I didn't save them. And it wasn't even that bad of salt. It's not like they were sitting there like insulting me. They were just kind of really asking a question and I just really didn't answer because I didn't feel like I needed to. But again, PTV is for fun. I'm really just here to test out per perks, see what it's like. Um, we've kind of looked at the prestige system. I love it. I cannot wait for it to go live. I really can't. Um, I think this was the same thing that just left. They left our lobby and got our lobby again. Yep. <laughs> For some reason, this Fang don't want to play with us. She got us twice and she's left twice. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. I, I understand. I know. I Like I said, it, I've... This fang came into our lobby three times and said, screw it, I'll play with you guys. They backed out twice and got us a third time. So she's probably like, fine, I'll play with you guys. Holy crap. But I, it's okay. I understand, Brad, I understand. Like I said, I, was, I had a rough morning and I had no real reason. It just happens sometimes. You wake up and you just choose violence. Oh, please, please, please. Someone else play an offering. Please, please. Oh, damn, we're going to RPD. I hate RPD. But definitely getting on, I, I, I felt so much better. And I, I I owe it all to you guys. It's always such a fun time to come on and play with you guys. Or hang out with you guys, I mean. And overall, like I said, I was kind of worried because Dead by Daylight can be rough. You never, ever, ever know what kind of day you're going to get in the fog. You could have an absolute amazing day and have the best teammates and fun killers and then some days you'll have absolute awful people who will literally yell at you in in-game chats for no reason but also being on the ptb i was like well you know what people are probably going to be having fun on the ptb that's kind of what it's about not everybody takes it like that a lot of people will not have fun on the ptb poor chuck has had a lot of people today being absolute a-holes to him and i know for a fact, oh, it's Dredge. Uh, he didn't deserve any of that. No one's over here. Why are you behind me, Fang? Where did you come from? I was just moseying along, having a good old time. Okay, basement's not over here, so I can do this. Sorry to that Fang. I didn't mean to take that vault away from her. I literally was just having a good old time walking around. <gasps> Saucy! Hello! How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I popped that gen just for you. That's true, yeah. What was scary is they were messing stuff up this morning. Yeah, that added to it. That was definitely, yeah. Kind of like, do I even want to bother? Is it going to happen to me? Luckily, the way I thought about it was maybe if I downloaded the PTP after all of that happened, that my account was safe. But I wasn't sure. I still feel really bad for Maria. I hope that... It doesn't sound like it's going to be fixed for her. It sounds like it's going to be just a... 
a complete problem with the PTB for her and not going to be fixed at all. Thank you for giving Saucy a shout out. Ooh. I hope you're doing lovely today, by the way. Like I said, I popped that dredge just for you. <laughs> dredge didn't seem to care. So even with, I only have tier one of overzealous, so it's definitely not the max. Um, doing a gen by yourself, even with, what is it, 7% increase is still very slow. Or it feels slow. I'll leave that totem there in case I need it. <laughs> no, I, I totally understand. I totally understand. I'm doing okay. I miss you guys. Oh, no. You're, ooh. Oh, there's no skirt chucks, though. Your Xbox died. That sucks. That is never good to hear. Oh, so a dc Come on, now. What the hell? What are you running that does that? No, shame on you. It wasn't that thing. <laughs> I thought it was the thing that um left our lobby three times. Well, I like saboteur. I like being able to see um oops, slow bolt, my bad. To see that she DC'd! People, this is the PTV. Have fun. Come on, people. Have fun. I had a feeling that Fang was going to DC, though, because they X out of our lobby three times. Yeah, I'm probably going down here. I'm not going to DC. I'm not going to do that to you, Dredge. I was wondering if he was going to kind of play nicer because two people left, but again, it's still just the PTP. Who cares? I'm not even downloading the PTP. Last one made my game unplayable and I had to uninstall. Oh, I think I remember you saying that. Yeah. Because I thought it was like, I was wondering why it was doing that. Like what made it do that, but thank you. I don't have off the record. Wait! Did it? Was it I still have the endurance status effect? It must have like just ran out. That's why I ran at him. Huh. I'll have to go back and look at that. I, was, I thought I still had it. It must have just ran out. Guess not. I that thing said screw. I don't know if it was because of the people who were in the match that she said screw you guys. But um, yeah, she pretty much gave up on trying to get a lobby and then DC'd. And see, I don't mind the dredge playing this way on the PTV. If this was a real game and everything mattered, I'd be like, come on now, we had two, C two DCs, let us live. Or at least let us, you know, farm for a bit and then kill us. I literally didn't get to do anything. I finished one gen though. I finished one gen. I'm GG to that dredge, he played well. He played well. He caught me. Did a good job. Just unfortunate that two people felt like they had to DC. And I understand DC on the PTB. It doesn't mean anything, but... I do have to go here to see if people stuck around. Nope, no one stuck around. Not 
the killer is just like, okay. I still had fun. I thought the killer did a good job. So, you know what? Good for them. Good for them. I don't know why people got salty and DC'd, but I had fun with them. What were they playing with? I didn't really get to notice. Uh, pop, overcharge, surveillance, jolt. Ooh. Ooh, I kind of like that build. I kind of like that build. Okay, anyways, good. Uh, GG's. It was like, I said, a fine match. I just don't get why people DC'd on it. Uh, what's the stream? Unfortunately, I don't have my own place to stream. I have no money. Oh, Saucy, I'm sorry. I know. I know that feeling, though. I know. It, it took me a while. Like, I don't have my own place either. I literally am just in a bedroom. My own bedroom. And I live in a house with three other people. Luckily, they are very forgiving and they, you know, understand what I'm doing and that I'm having fun and all that. So it's not as bad, but starting up, oh, is hell. Starting up was hell. I used to stream on a laptop. Um, so, yeah, um, my streams used to be through a laptop and with one screen. I would stream through my laptop. It worked okay. It wasn't even a gaming laptop. It was just a standard laptop. And, um, I used to read chat through my phone. That is how I used to do things. Rough, but you know what? You gotta start somewhere. And I understand in your situation, I know you can't start right now, but you never know. Things could turn around and you may one day find yourself being able to. Who knows? Life can take some weird turns and something great may happen. But yeah, I, or actually, when I actually very first started, I actually streamed through my PlayStation. I stream, I didn't even stream through a computer. It was strictly through my PlayStation with no mic. And then I was able to purchase like the cheapest of cheap headset with a mic that actually was pretty damn good, if I'm being honest. Like it was like a twenty dollar headset, but it was pretty damn good. I'm just saying. Um, but it was. Through the PlayStation with like two games I had and a $20 headset. Until I was able to actually get my laptop working. It worked, but I had to get it all set up. And then I finally got it set up and it still was through a laptop with um, my chat on my phone and still my $20 headset. So things happen. You never know. I was able to, you know, start very small even you know still not in a I mean I would love to have my own space but my current living situation I can't I need to be here for I live with my mom and my dad because my mom needs me and I couldn't I you know I couldn't stand uh, leaving because she would need the help so that is why I have to live here and I don't mind it I really don't I have such understanding family so it's all good I love it. And see, that's what's always nice is when you do have people who understand. Like, I have to live with my parents for lots of reasons, but over the course of the time, my mom has been able to not do certain things, so she needs me to do those things for her and help her out. And also, my dad is not young either, and I help around the house. I take care of the yard. I take care of the house itself, you know, meaning, like, clean it up and everything. So... It, it definitely is maybe not my ideal situation. I would love, you know, to have my own house again. But honestly, deep down, I would feel absolutely guilty because I help out as much as I can for them. So they've helped me out so much in the past and in current that I feel like it's my way of repaying them for everything they've done for me. You look different. I <laughs> Thank you. This is my spicy red panda look. You can redeem it in chat uh, channel points. Um, and this was redeemed by Technically Magic, but Brad will redeem it later for him because Magic was doing it for him. So this is my special look that you can get for a little while. And I think I probably will switch it off now, though, because that was about half an hour's worth of it. So I actually forgot I was the Red Panda. So we're going to go back to my normal look, which is this. Same, I streamed from the next box 360 with capture card I bought from Wish and was on Windows 98 PC. Yeah. 
If I could, I couldn't leave my mother also. We have to take it. Yeah. And for me, I mean, I'm, I consider myself extremely lucky. I have like the best parents ever. They are so understanding. They are so caring. They're so, you know, you name it, they probably are it. And they have done so much for me, not only through rough times, but even just in general, like being just amazing people that now the way things are in just the world in general, I feel like it's repaying them by helping take care of, not them in general, but taking care of things around the house, helping when I can. And you know, like I have to drive my mom to an appointment every other, no, not every other week, every three weeks because she can't drive long distances. And I can. I mean, my dad could too, but my dad's not gonna wanna do that because of where she's going. <laughs> she goes to a nail appointment. My dad is not gonna wanna sit around for an hour while my mom gets her nails done. I don't mind it because the person who does her nails is a very good friend and I love hanging out with them while that's going on. My dad would absolutely be in hell. So <laughs> I like to take her to her appointment because it's fun to hang out with that person. And also I hate driving, but it's taking care of my mom, it's all good. That sounds amazing to start. I can't do that yet. I live in a roommate situation and we're so far behind on bills. We might, oh, we might get evicted here soon. And I understand, I totally understand. It, it times are, especially now, the way the world is and everything, times are definitely rough. So I totally get it. But just remember, keep your head up, keep trucking, you'll get there. And maybe someday, who knows, everything will turn around and you might be able to stream. You never ever know what's around the corner. Believe me, I've been there. One day you could have an absolute, you know, think the world is coming to an end and then tomorrow something amazing might happen. You care for your mom too. That's awesome. Mamas need it. I know not everyone has a great mom. I understand. Sometimes parents can be rough. I totally get it. But you know what? For me, my mama is, is she is my everything, you know. She's helped me through so much. Same by my dad. I mean, my mom needs me more than my dad needs me, but my dad definitely is, they've both been absolutely the best. Like I have an absolute trash uh, family member. Well, I'm not gonna say who, like who they are, but they were absolute a jackass to me. And they had me in tears once because of it. And my dad and my mom just came up to me and said, don't worry about them. Don't listen to them. We'll help you. We'll take care of you. It's all gonna be okay. And they did. They did, they helped me. My, my other family member pretty much said, screw you, figure it out and everything and didn't even bother to really help me that much. And then my parents were like, don't worry about it. You'll be fine. We'll take care of you, we'll help you, we'll get you. And they did. And now that it's all pretty much kind of taken care of, I can help take care of them and the needs they need. Just like they helped take care of me when I needed the help. I'm tired of playing Meg, but I'm, I'm, she's got a lot of perks I want to run. I'm trying to decide even what I want to do now because I feel like I've done everything. My mama, she's sweet. Yes, my mama is a sweetie. That's, I mean, I, I could never like say enough good things about both my parents. I'm not going to rule out my dad. My dad is amazing too. He's just a lot like me. He doesn't have social anxiety, but he freaking hates social interactions. I think that's where I get it. My dad is a very, 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 very quiet person. And kind of like my brother wants you to just leave him alone half the time. Because <laughs> he just he's just not a social person. That's just who he is. So you'll never ever see my dad on here or anywhere like that. Because he's not a very social person. Nor does he really even care about the internet that much. But he's just about amazing. As my mom. There's no comparison to either of them. They're both absolutely amazing. My mom raised three girls as a single mom for years. My time to return the favor and raise my mom. See, that's amazing. I love that. That is amazing. Your mom is already a superhero for raising three girls as a single mom. That's absolutely amazing. And I love it that when we do get the opportunity to repay them for their amazingness, it's it's worth it. Like I said, I would absolutely still love to have my own house. I would, I'm not saying I wouldn't. I would love to have my own house with my own room for streaming and so much more, you know, that I could do but at the same time. I would feel absolutely guilty that I wasn't here for them. I hope so. Fingers crossed I met the most amazing boyfriend. He's a gamer too. And I'm in love with him. Hopefully I can get him up here to live together so we can both stream. Aw, that would be absolutely amazing. Yes. I love hearing that. See, you never know. You never know. 
I never, you know, we were talking about this the other day. We had a community member just going through an absolute, you know, horrible time. Because it's always like this. When one thing happens, it seems like another thing happens. And it just kind of goes downhill for a while. You never know what's going to happen around the corner. And it's in any kind of sense. Tomorrow isn't even guaranteed for us in just general. And you never know tomorrow there might be something absolutely amazing that will turn your life around for good. And sadly, there also might be something tomorrow that will turn our lives around for bad. It, you never know. You just have to kind of wait and see. That's the roller coaster of life. And it's not fun sometimes, but you never know. Something amazing might happen. And you just got to kind of... You just kind of got to keep on that hope that there is something amazing right around the corner. <gasps> Hello, Cloud King! How's the food tasting tonight? Uh, not bad, not bad. If you're meaning how's the fog, it's not too bad. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, how's everything been for you? All right, let's continue on. But that's just my little, like, little bit of insight to me. Like, I, like, I am blessed to have the life I have. I would never complain, ever. I've had situations in my life happen that, you know what? I've been humbled, I guess is a good way to say it. But I've learned a lot of things in life going through crap situations and things that you never know. You just gotta kind of keep trucking and just hope that tomorrow is better. It could get worse, but sometimes, unfortunately, it has to get worse before it gets better. It sucks, but that's, you know, the roller coaster of life. I have no idea what I want to do. <laughs> I, I've kind of tested everything that I wanted to test out. Um, so we've seen the prestige system. We know what it looks like. I don't really want to, like, put points into anybody else because I don't need to right now. I guess we could just have some fun builds. I guess. Exactly. Cherish the people in your life. Never know how soon the day will come that they are not there. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Autocorrect is the best. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we know autocorrect here very well. We know autocorrect here very well. Um, my mod, she's not here at the moment because she is driving. Well, she might be. No, she might be home. I don't know. Uh, she has the best autocorrects ever because she's usually on her phone. And um, she absolutely loves autocorrect. Just saying. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, beautiful, for your words of wisdom. Of course. And that's what I, I love. You know, I'm never going to try and bring anybody down, you know, and everything. The, the world is rough as it is. You know, I want my stream to be somewhere where people can come to just kind of relax, chill. If you need to pick me up, I will do my best to, you know, give you words of encouragement or whatever you may need. I'm going to do my best to help you because the world can be a rough place. And I don't talk about things on my stream that are controversial, political, whatever, and even though it's something that does need to be talked about, but I don't like doing it on my stream because I want to take this moment to just sit back, relax, you know, and get rid of all of the worries that the world puts us through. Whether it's something in your personal life with like a family member, with yourself just in general, you know, like a job issue, or whatever the hell the government is doing, you know, it's not something to be quiet on, but it's also on my stream. I like it to be a place where we can just relax for a while and just be like, let's just chill and hang out. Let's just have fun for the five hours that I'm on and just have fun. Now, I know sometimes it gets a little salty in here because of Dead by Daylight, but I try to keep a positive vibe to make sure everybody's having a good time. And like I said, if you're on my Discord, you can always post in the event section if you need to. You can always DM me. I always have my DMs open to people in my server. So if you ever need anything, I'm always there. And I try my best, you know, to help you through it, to pick you up, whatever the case is. I may not be good at it because I might not be experienced in a certain situation, but I'm definitely going to try and give you words of encouragement. My dad was in good health, so I was surprised when I got the call telling me he had a massive heart attack. He was taken off life support three days later. Did not expect to lose him so soon at 53 years old, and it makes me cherish my mom more. Definitely. Oh, definitely. It's true. Yeah, sometimes the only way to get through something is to ride through it. Right? It is. It, it is. It, it, it sucks to have.
have to, you know, go through things, and like I said, sometimes it'll get worse before it gets better. Believe me, I've been through situations many times where I've had to go through hell to get to the other side. And I've learned from it in ways, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, it, it sucks, but it's the roller coaster of life. But I, I know exactly that. It wasn't my dad, but my grandfather. He was old, so it was, it was a little better, but it was an absolute shock to us. Um, because what happened was uh, my grandfather was helping me. We had just bought our brand new house, and he was helping me get items together to put in it because I had nothing. I was buying a house, and I had nothing to put in it um, because I was moving out of my parents' house, and I had not a lot of money to buy, you know, a million things for it. And so he was getting things out of, like, storage and stuff to help me put in my new house. And my grandpa had a tendency to, um feel sick I guess because he had um he was gluten intolerant and stuff like that so he had issues at times um and he fell a lot he was kind of clumsy you know he was old and he was helping me get stuff for my house and he ended up having a stroke he was perfectly healthy like he was a healthy person other than he had a uh, gluten intolerance and he he dropped he just dropped and it was so super sudden and about a week later he was taken off life support and he was gone and I always felt absolutely horrible because he was helping me out when it happened and I always felt like we could have got him to somewhere sooner if he wasn't doing what he was doing because we thought oh he just fell it's grandpa that's what grandpa does he falls all the time and then we get him to the doctor and he's like ah he's fine we'll patch him up he's good and he wasn't and he was gone and it was just an absolute shock. So he was old, so it's like it was a little better. You know, Grandpa, he was like 80-some years old. But at the same time, he was in perfect health. He was fine. And then the next week, he was gone. So I understand. I never, ever take anything for granted. I never know when my parents thought might happen to them. And same with my other... No, my all my grandparents are gone. But any of my friends, even, you never know. I mean, I could walk out of the house and get hit by a car. Well, I'd have to walk up my driveway, but you know what I mean. Something bad could happen. You never know. Tomorrow's never guaranteed. You just got to kind of truck through it and hope that tomorrow you get to live again. Yes, and Brian's always in Discord, too. If you, have, if anybody ever needs any... Hey, you can always join our Discord. There's a vent section there if you want to vent about it. We will be there. We will listen to you. If you don't want to vent about it publicly, you can always message one of us as well. I, I believe all my mods would say the same, but their DMs are always open for you to talk if you need it. Because I understand sometimes you just need an ear to listen to you, even if they don't know what's going on in your life. You just want to vent to them. I know. I know. Brad is always on Discord. I send him naughty pictures all the time. <laughs> See? You gotta have fun, too. Same thing happened to me. Granny went to church, went to church that morning, fell in the parking lot and died the next day, and nothing was wrong with her at all. Yeah. Yeah, my grandpa, like, well, something was wrong, obviously. He had a stroke, but he was in perfect health otherwise, is what I'm saying. He was in perfect health otherwise, but you never know. Like, we never expected him to be gone. And it was a week later they took him off life support. Like, they tried. They were hoping he would pull through, and he didn't. Um, but it just was, it was like a really hard time, too, because I was just moving into my house. And he was helping me move into my house. He was giving me things. And where we used to work, it was a family business. He was still actually working, because this was a Sunday it happened. He was at work on that Saturday. Perfectly fine. Everything was great. And then, poof, gone. Um, I'm trying to figure out. I have no idea. I'm completely honest. I have no idea what I want to do. I feel like I've done everything on the server today, but I don't want to end stream, and I've literally got like half an hour left. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to continue just playing with my builds or call stream early. I don't know. In my next life, I want to come back as a cloud, definitely. I want to come back as a cat. Well, a cloud would be amazing too, but cat. Cats have the little mine out of life. I don't know about anyone else's. <gasps> I'm hoping I'm saying this right. <laughs> Rikaku, am I saying that right? Oh, hi, how are you doing? Uh, welcome on in. It's good to see you. It's been a while. I haven't 
haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't been in Blightstream the last few streams. Excuse me, I've been there, but it's been the quarry and I can't see the quarry right now. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played the quarry. So anyone playing it, I'm usually there lurking. I ain't playing, I ain't watching them. Um, I'm just going back to Meg. I don't know what I want to do. This stream has took a turn from me playing games just talking about how life can be unfair. Bow, bow. I'm just gonna play with this build. I'm just gonna play a couple more fun games. Saboteur, hope, overzealous, resilience, because I don't know what else to play. And I'm kind of done checking out. I nailed it, yes! I always love hearing that. I always love when I get it right. <laughs> Cause I always tell people, if I get your name, excuse me, if I get your name wrong, if I totally butcher it, please correct me. I have no, I have no issue. Got to go, sorry. Well, why did you have to tell me? I bet you they said got to go because two TTVers are in their lobby. Okay, got to go, bye. If I come back as a cat, I want to be in Langley, Canada and I want to be taken care of. <laughs> I'm totally saying their name right. Shelly. I'm trying to pronounce it Roche. Is that how you say that name? I love how this person was just like, oh damn, got to go. Sorry. All right. See ya. I have a feeling it's because um, there was two TT bears in their lobby and they don't like TT bears. Well, you nailed my name. Good job. I'm glad. I'm glad. Rikaku. I like it too. I like it. I like her name. Yeah, I always tell people like, go ahead, correct me. I don't care. I, I'm really bad with pronunciation just in general. Like I will even pronounce common words wrong because it's sometimes easier for me to remember the word. Because I'm dumb. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not dumb, but it's just sometimes I like, well, totally. Somebody came into my chat once and I was trying to say their name and they were trying to correct me. I don't think I ever got it right. <laughs> and I felt so bad. I don't remember the name now. And I don't even know if they followed. But they were even trying to like spell it out in chat and I still messed it up. And I'm like, I don't know. I'll just call you this and I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> how, how many times you got my name right? I know you corrected it, but... <laughs> I said it right. She runs a, I was just gonna ask what who that was. She runs a feral cat rescue in Lingley and she's amazing with cats. <gasps> I wanna go there then. I wanna come back in a cat form and I'll go with you. Me and SK will be cats together there. <laughs> I've been barf Denny and so much more. <laughs> I the old oh, no one ever mispronounced Scarlet, but Skelly every once in a while will get a weird pronunciation and I totally get it because I spell it differently and the reason I spell it differently is because when I spelled it S-K-E-L-L-Y I thought people were going to read it like Scarlet's Kelly like putting that extra S on Scarlet's and not for Skelly so that's why I spelled it different and I still get people pronouncing it wrong but it doesn't matter it's all Gouda and also, you can call me Scarlet or Skelly. I really don't mind. Either or is good with me. Some people call me Scar. Some people call me Scarlet. Some people call me Skelly, and I don't mind. Ended up being an Abbott and Costello gag. Really? I freaking love Abbott and Costello, but I didn't know that. Oh, it's someone with a chainsaw. Don't know who, but I hear a chainsaw way in the distance. S SK is totally right. You can't expect me to always get your name right when I sometimes can't even get my own right and I'm magic. I need to go back and clip that. I don't think I did. Oh, but I don't remember what stream it was now. That was like last week, so it should still be there. I couldn't even say my name right a couple seconds ago. I almost messed up Scarlet. I am 
just a streamer trying her best. You never know. Words are hard for me. Words come out of my mouth and they don't mean to. PTP for those who are just joining. I was earlier running different builds, trying out the new perks, stuff like that. I hadn't played Killer because I don't want to wait for the queues. Right now, I'm not really testing anything out. I kind of did everything I wanted to do. But uh, overall, I'm going to give this PTP a big old thumbs up. I love the changes that are coming. There's a few things here and there I would change. Uh, little nitpicking things, though. But overall, I'm excited. I really, I freaking hate PTBs because I hate having to wait now for it to come out. That is my biggest problem. Now we have to wait like what, two weeks or so, however long it is to actually get these to go into effect. Cause I'm so excited for the prestige. I didn't play a lot, a lot with the prestiging today because I was really just trying out certain builds with perks and luckily had the perks that I wanted either unlocked or available but overall I'm really excited just bummed that I have to wait long for it now cuz on Friday I'm gonna pop Jen it's okay I don't know what's going on anyway on Friday we're gonna be playing a variety game so this is the last day for DVD for the week. And also, reminder, if you guys are DVD players, anniversary event ends tomorrow. No idea what time it ends tomorrow, but it ends tomorrow. You guys need to get the final stuff done. You got today and whatever tomorrow. I'm the only one doing gens. What is going on? I've seen it, nobody! I've heard a chainsaw! Every gen I get to, nobody's working on it! Are we like trolling the killer? Let me go look. Poor Meg here! Every gen I come across, not being touched. Yeah, they're all just hanging around the killer. Well, that one's doing a gen. I'm looking for a totem. Mm, they have a hex, so. Oh. Well, I'm gonna go do my thing! Oh, found the hex! Retribution. Okay, I can do this. This gives me extra speed. Boom. It's hillbilly, by the way. It's not bubble. Okay, I'm gonna go to this gen. I'm kind of curious what the speed is like when I clean a hex totem. I should go get hit by the killer and then run back and I'll have even more speed. Yeah, it ends tomorrow. I don't know what time though. I, I, you might have to check their website. I don't know if it's like, uh, you know, like 12 p.m. Eastern time or 12 p.m. Uh, 12 a.m. Eastern time or whatever. I just know it ends tomorrow. I've already finished everything. So that's why I played the PTV today. Cause I was actually gonna play the events today cause today would be the last day. And then I was gonna go over and play um, uh, play the PTB on Friday, but since 
I finished everything. I've decided the PTB today. And I'm glad I, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I don't have to like try and get everything done really fast. Take the meds. Okay, no worries. This is probably gonna be my last match because I don't know what else to do in the PTB today. I've pretty much tested everything. I've seen everything. Nobody's doing gens right now, so literally I'm just doing them to end the match so I can leave. I don't know what's going on. I think they're just having fun with the killer. Which is fine. You guys can have fun with the killer. They're probably like, this Meg. This Meg. She's not having fun with us. Pentimento, okay. Well, he probably lit the retribution park or park totem, but I ain't gonna go for it. I'm just gonna do my gins and pop them. Because that's what I do. Because, like I said, I think this is my last match. I think I might need a bishop. Like, I think they've just committed here, Sid. <laughs> I'm picking up PS1 games to stream after I move and I deliberately <gasps> picked up Bubsy 3D. What is Bubsy 3D? Holy crap though, PlayStation 1, that's freaking awesome. I, no, I didn't have a PlayStation 1, Never mind. I came in at the PlayStation 2. I'll admit, I got into gaming late in my life. The really only reason I got into gaming is because my little brother was into it, so it's like, ah, okay. He's got all these things. I'll play them! And uh, I fell in love with gaming from that way. Also, one of my friends had a uh, Nintendo 64? Wait, is that what it was called? I think so. Anyway! Uh, they had like Mario Kart and we always go over to their house and just play Mario Kart for like hours. But I'm kind of a late bloober in gaming. I will completely admit it. There's like a million games too I need to play in general on stream. Alright. Um... Four gens are done. I have done four gens. I don't want to know what's going on over there. I don't really want to participate. I'm just going to do the last gen and then go along with my day. Because I'm getting kind of bored of DVD. I'll take that. I'm kind of bored. And I don't need points, so I don't need to be farming. definitely look it up. It's probably one of those games I've seen but I had no idea what the name of it was. And I'm big about that. I'm big about that. I know things, but then when you tell me the name of it, I'm like, what the hell is that? But then I see a picture or like gameplay of it. I'm like, oh, I know that game. Thank you so much for the work, Cloud King. I appreciate it. I hope you've been having a lovely, lovely day. Oh, I have a I have a med kit. Med kit. I have a toolbox. Oh. Alright, I got the zoomies! Oh, I was gonna put adrenaline on. Oh well. I was gonna put adrenaline on with hope to feel what it was to see what it felt like, but um I don't really feel like playing anymore, so I literally am gonna be that kind of person. I'm gonna open this gate and I'm gonna book it. I finished four gens by myself though. Alright. Bye, guys! I don't know what you're doing. I had a blast doing gens, but I'm kind of bored, so I'm gonna get off stream. Off the hook, some peeps! Gotta rush challenge! Oh, yep. Yep. Good luck! Have fun! Have fun in the fog! Well, I finished the challenge. And I hope you have a lot of fun games. I hope you get some nice survivors and everything. I got no evader skills. What? Why not? I'm kidding. 
Yeah, I, I don't know if they what they were doing. They might have been having fun. It's fine. It's fine. Like I, I'm all about having fun. I'm just kind of bored. It's kind of why I wanted to get out of the match. <laughs> I'm kind of bored. I just don't. I just don't feel like playing anymore. So we're just gonna go like this. Nothing against anybody in that match. Nothing against anybody in that match. I didn't know if I wanted to play that match anyways, and I kind of played it just to finally get one more match in. But I had fun. It was still fun. I'll DM you a link to the YouTube video. Perfect. That's perfect. That would be perfect. I would love that. All right. So that is it for me today on the PTV. And honestly, fun. Fun, 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 fun. I loved it. We had, what, two salty survivors? Because I didn't save them. But at least the killer was someone who was in our chat. We got as killer before. That was super fun. I loved that. And they were super nice. I loved having them as killer and having them in my chat as well. And um, other than that, uh, all, all, all matches were good. Most of them were fun. I can't really say anything against anybody really who played. I mean, to the people who DC'd in that dredge match, okay. And honestly, don't get it, but I had fun. Um, so prestige system, love it. I love it. So we got to kind of see what it looks like from my account's point of view. And um, it even isn't completely up to date because technically Leon and Jill, it shows here because this is, I think they said June 20th server, so, supposedly. So whatever was on June 20th is what your server looks like or your account. Because uh, according to this, I'm at blood web level 40 for Jill and I know I've got her at 50. So when this goes into effect with the mid chapter, Every single one of my survivors will be at level 50 by then, for sure. So all we would have to do is do one blood web, give everyone through to the next level of prestige, and yeah, so on and so forth. Um, but I love it. I, I really do. It was confusing at first, but I think we got a handle on what it's going to take. And everybody's account is going to be different. Depends on what you've done, how much prestige have you put in, what kind of prestige perks do you already have unlocked and so on and so forth so um you know my account's gonna look way different than say magics who's put millions more hours than i have and a lot more blood time. points hopefully we things. got 180 so. seconds well, i was really able to swing on stream i'm glad no to have you way. here i was glad to see you and i'm glad you got to join i'm sorry i'm leaving i literally i wouldn't say soon so hatch. soon after you join but it is about that time we usually get off around 6 p.m pacific time i was literally standing on DM your Twitch profile. Spawned. that's perfectly fine no, no worries, that's I perfectly fine you can points. dm me wherever most places my dms are open so i will check that out after stream thank you brad so much for the shout out i'm back don't leave i'm gonna leave because i'm bored <laughs> I, I technically could play longer today, but I don't really know what else I want to do on the PTB server. I've tested kind of every... The only last thing I would want to test is hope with adrenaline. But the only reason I'm not going to is I would have to hope... Ha! Hope that I would get to the end of the match anyway. And I don't know if I'll get there, so um, I'm just not going to. But I am kind of bored. I did everything I wanted to do. We checked out Prestige. Love it. Can't wait for it overall gameplay i liked it i liked it gen extra gen time is gonna be a little annoying at first but we'll get used to it we won't even remember what it was like to have the speed it was and rip to a couple perks definitely rip to dead hard i didn't like it as is just because it wasn't my style but definitely rip to it because i tried using it and it was even worse <laughs> so never see me using dead hard probably unless i have a challenge and um, the few builds we tested that were kind of like gen speed, um, couple, uh, what do you call it? Healing speed builds. And definitely I think in the future I'm gonna be using off the record. I like that perk now. I didn't dislike it before, but borrow time is unnecessary. Borrow time is very unnecessary now because you get the endurance status effect from an unhook like all the time not you but the unhooked person gets it so borrowed time isn't even needed unless you just want to add extra time for them which is nice but it definitely opens up the door for me to be like hey now i can put this perk here that i always liked and not be you know feeling like i have to be running borrowed time because of my play style so that's that 
Um, I didn't play killer today because killer queues are really, really long on PTBs and I didn't want to wait. I didn't get to see no one. I'm sad. I didn't get to see no one. Um, I saw it once, but the killer, uh, the server dumped us. So I didn't get to see it go into effect, which was sad. I really wanted to see no one as a survivor, but I can almost guarantee once it goes live, we'll see it quite often. So there's that. And I didn't see a couple other perks I was hoping to see. Like Monster Shrine I kind of wanted to see, but I didn't see anybody running it. Overcharge was popular, which I could see Overcharge being very popular because that is a killer perk in more ways than one. It's going to be hell to run against. Um, so yeah, that is my take on the PTB. I'm going to uninstall the PTB as soon as I get off stream. Uh, but I had fun. It was actually a lot of fun. That last match was boring, but I was just kind of bored in general. So that was why. Let's go find someone to raid. But thank you guys so much for being here today. You guys definitely made my day way better. I guarantee you I was having a very rough morning and you guys were so awesome hanging out with me, having fun in the PTB and all that. Again, I hope you guys have fun in the fog. And on Friday, we will be playing, um, a variety game you guys probably can guess what i'm gonna play um i'm not gonna tell you but you guys will probably guess what i'm gonna play if you're in my discord if you guys are not in my discord i want to join my discord is open to all and again if you guys ever need anything there's a vent section you can vent at and we will listen if you want to keep it more private my dms are always open and i can almost say it for almost all my mods i think their dms are open as well if you ever need someone to just talk to so there is that. Let's see. We are gonna grade this person. Do I get two guesses? You can have two guesses. I won't tell you if you're right, <laughs> but you can guess. If you're, oh, sorry, I didn't put this up. If you are in my Discord, you might know. But again, if you guys want to join my Discord, it is open to all. And then as well as sometimes there's a bot in there that will ask you to verify your account for safety reasons. Uh, but it doesn't always activate. I don't know how and when it does. But just be aware that it's going to send you a message sometimes to verify your account. So, All right. We're going to go read this person because I wanted to read them recently. And it's been a while since we've got to say hello. They are currently playing Dead by Daylight. Not on the PTB. Not on the PTB. So she is playing uh, the live server right now. And I think she plays with friends. So you might see her playing with some people as well as she's playing Survivor. And she's currently going against the Dredge. She is an amazing person. You guys need to check her out. Her name is Holly Plays. And we're going to give her all the love and support right now. So if you guys are sub to the channel, please copy paste the second raid command. That Brad put in chat for us. If you're not, you can copy paste the first one. Both work just as well and show the same amount of love. And we're going to give all the love to Holly Plays and hang out with her for a bit. And then I will be off for the night and probably, um, wait, it's Wednesday. Never mind. I thought it was Monday. We're going to be playing a variety game on Friday. So I will see you guys then. And again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and putting up with me. Even when I said I was having a bad day, you guys made it all better. And I appreciate you all so much. So let's go continue all the love over here. And I will see you guys on Friday again. I can't say it enough, but thank you so much for everything. You guys are amazing. And I'll hopefully see you guys Friday. Bye-bye.